I am now recording. Oh. Da -da -da. So I put my little. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Let's put this in here too. Wouldn't be a true Odyssey session if we didn't start late due to technical two difficulties. Minutes. Two minutes, okay? This two is, minutes this... is good for us. It's yeah, good indeed. for us. It's not 15. Yeah, do, do we want to, like, delay for another 10 minutes? No, just okay. no, 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 no. Again, I've only held my mom off for so long. Yeah, no, okay, we'll do this. We'll do also, this. I can only have my insides as snakes for so long, so... Um, is everybody's recording yep. up and running? Okay, yep. uh, I will count us in from three. Three, two, one. Ooh, slightly out of sync there. Yeah, who would laugh? All right, you want to do a second one? I can do a second one. No, no, it's fine. It's, it's by like a split like, second. To be fair, Jay has not done any progress in any of the recordings. Shut! Well I've anyway, been trying. So. I, I am back at you. I am doing my doctorate. I'll have you know. <laughs> Well, I know, but I'm allowed to tease you. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, you are. Says it the is... person that hasn't edited the finale for the Neverending Train <laughs> for months. Ha, ha, oh, ha. <laughs> so we don't really know how bad it's going to be for Jay in the future that this is out of sync. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it, it's really? fine. It's fine. That's future me's problem. <laughs> uh, smash cut to you, like, several months listening to this. Yep. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that, Loki. Um, one. Also, like, yeah. uh, a quick Liz. Did you ever finish that redraw of um tidbit? Because if no. not, you are still absolutely allowed to post the boffin pictures because they are perfect and I love them. They're good. Yeah, I'm for the boffins. Please. I I'm going to channel the tidbit that uh. Uh, super Drew because I love it so much and I'm yeah. going to absolutely yeah. steal some design like it's bits from it. Excellent. But let me draw, let me give you a sad little scientist and then we can begin. All right, yeah, give us the sign. I will be, um, for anyone listening to this after the fact, I will be linking all the images in the description below. Mostly they're just kind of going, hey, look, characters. There uh, he is. Because we love them. There he is. And yeah, there's my wonderful sad scientist. <laughs> He's very round and very good. I know. <sighs> what is up? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, is everyone ready? You've got all your character sheets up, and all oh wait, hot. No, I'm good. <laughs> We're good at this. I hate you. <laughs> this is all the shit we should have done before we like clapped. Yeah. It's fine. No, again, I'm we're good. It's fine. It's we're fun. making life difficult for Jay because it's fun. It's fine. Anyway, hi Jay of the future. Biff goes first. Biff goes first. Oh, does Biff go? First? I don't even fucking. Know. Can we let Kai do the I intro? <laughs> Oh, Kai. Yeah. <laughs> no intro. Let's fucking go. I love you guys. I hate you all, but I love you. Right. Go, Everybody go, go, go. shut up. Kai has to do the intro. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another uh, episode of The Odyssey on a weird day that is not a Sunday because we are impatient and we want the boss fight over. I am Kai, your DM, who was uh, both very anxious and excited for this and also already regretting things because this party... This party. <laughs> you chose us. It sure is a party. Yep. Anyway, would this party please like to introduce themselves and their characters? And also, like, can we get a quick snapshot of the state that you're in after leaving off last time? Oh, shit. Okay. Hi, my name is Liz, and I will be playing Miss Foam Forester, a little mound of a druid. Uh, the current state that she's in is um, slightly singed. Wow. And... Um, trying to assess what's going on, uh, and, okay, we're gonna fight. The wizard sure did hit the other wizard with an umbrella. Let's go. Wizard on wizard violence. <laughs> <laughs> the wizards are fighting. <laughs> the wizards are fighting. Hi, I'm Mark. Uh, I'm playing Biff Hitley. Um, she is large. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's it. We love Maybe her. I'll get a sec a new joke for the second arc, but uh, you know. <laughs> no, no, it has to go through the entire fucking series, or I'm rioting. <laughs> yep, um, she large. has just carried the party literally <laughs> uh, out of a pit in the ground. So that's good. Thank yep. you, uh, Miss Foam, for the spider climb. Her feet uh, did get And she has probably. Did we say that that we have seen uh, Frankie like just to, like smack the back of this guy's head or whatever? Yeah, you guys jumped up out of the just in just time. To see in time. That. Yeah, she's ready to fucking go. She's probably like putting y'all on the ground. <laughs> Excellent. The 
evil boss has hit the other wizard. It's time to go. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Snail. I'll be playing Tsugi, uh, who is, at this point, very pissed off. Thank you very much. Um, he is a worn Gimplian. Uh, if you had a pretty boy whose entire, like, torso area seem to act very rubber hose you would be somewhat in the realm of possibility you just need to add like a whole chemical x that worth of bastard into that mixture and you've got it <laughs> um <Chemical> B, bastard <laughs> you can't make me laugh chemical i'm trying to make this quick um, right, okay um, he, he's, he's trying to land on his feet so that he can put a spear through this asshole. <laughs> Maybe if we're lucky, we can find a jar of any everything nice in this alchemy lab. <laughs> oh, oh, you probably could. The trick would be making him ingest it. Just mm, if you hold him down. Hi, I'm Jay. I am going to be playing Francesca Elizabeth Steinbeck, aka Frankie, and Lord of the Umbrella, and also possessor of 17 hit points. This is going to go well. Squishy. 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 <laughs> All right, uh, and back to me then, I guess. I am playing um, basically just as many NPCs as there are PCs in this game. You do this have, to yourself. I have regrets, and the only thing keeping me going currently is uh, a lot of cocodamol and tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, I should have made myself tea. Do not delay things. I will get it during the break. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, for now, uh, we can pick up where we left off, which is the beginning of initiative. Though, uh, actually, no, no. I did want to quickly get you guys to all roll perception checks real quick. These are going to be something for ongoing during the fight. It is okay if you fail. Are we still at disadvantage? Also, yes, a bunch of you are because you're still exhausted. <laughs> Damn it. I hate this. You've not okay. had a chance to have a nap this yet. Is it perception? Perception. How did we label things again? It's hashtag and then your name. Okay, we're off to a good start. Six. Okay. okay. Eighteen. Uh, we've got a four from Tsugi. Oh, that uh, you work. don't put the second uh, exclamation mark. Oh, god damn it! Though realistically, we're going to have a seven from Frankie there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we really are. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Miss Fo. Yeah, seven. Excellent. Uh. So that's about exactly what I was expecting, considering, again, we're all working at disadvantage. Uh, the scientists are going to get to perceive because they're NPCs and they do as I say. <laughs> <laughs> DM privileges. Pretty much. Um, and so the last thing that's going to happen before you actually get your turn, because, um, yeah, so Elias it ain't too happy. I, I, he's been hit to the ground. You guys have popped up. He's going like, ah, it's going this way then. And he vanishes out of existence for a moment. Oh dear! <sighs> Gotta love Blink. Yep. Gotta love Blink. Yep. And not the one that's a flashlight. <laughs> I love that one. Too. No, well, that one too. That yeah. one too. We, 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 all, we love all Blinks here. Um, I mean, I don't well, love this to be, spell. To be fair, to, to be fair, the way that I was phrasing it in this way, love was actually a substitute for another word. And we just uh -huh. love flashlight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, so, like, he's gone for the moment. Biff, it is technically your turn. We are in initiative. Um, so, but you guys do basically get this round to quickly catch up and go, hey, what the fuck, and everything. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and she wanted to swear! Um. Does Biff have fuck pri privileges? Or... Yeah, does Biff have fuck privileges? That's a great question. I'm going to say she's PG-13. She can say it once a day. <laughs> she gets one. Excellent use of it. Um, I love it. 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 So I have... Okay. Does... I guess this doesn't matter, actually. Because um, I'll just have Biff do it. But it's kind of sad to not know. Because um, if... The, is the ethereal is is someone in if it is the ethereal plane and you don't have to basically if Biff uses divine sense, um, 
can you read out Divine, Divine Sense to me real quick? And, cause... Yeah. Like, um, yeah, yeah, technically this fucker is on the ethereal plane, so, uh... That might mean they have full cover, I don't know. Uh, the presence of strong evil registers on your senses like a noxious odor, and powerful good rings like heavenly music in your ears. As an action, you can open your awareness to detect such forces. Uh, until the end of your next turn, you know the location of any celestial, fiend, or undead within 60 feet of you that is not behind total cover. Uh, you know the type, so celestial, fiend, or undead, uh, of any being whose presence you sense, but not its identity. Um, within the same radius, you can also detect the presence of any place or object that has been consecrated or desecrated as with the hallow spell. Uh, and she can do it a few times a day. Okay. Uh, in that case, like, I reckon I, I will be I will be nice to you and say that you get a sense of where this guy is because guess what? He's pretty far up on the evil uh, <laughs> scale. And I'm not saying like, ah, yes, classical maniacal evil. He's just so fucking self centered that he does not consider other people as important. That counts. Which counts and as my evil. Question, in my book. Yeah. My question then becomes: Is he celestial fiend or undead? <laughs> um, he's toon. I, oh, I mean. No, he's not undead because he never actually yeah. died. He does have a tenuous relationship with death. And I was going to say, know, if anything, <laughs> if anything, he's too much not dead. Yeah, it's gone the yeah. other way. Uh, so, no. so, so Biff technically does not sense him because okay. it's just it's celestial fiends are undead. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. But I yeah. was curious. No, it was. Uh, but she is going to do that, and she's going to look around. Good try, uh, good try. Good, I, again, I will tell you what, Biff, uh, you doing that for your turn again. You don't know where he went, however, um, you do feel a little bit of attention drawn to the uh, secret doorway that he appeared from behind. I will say that. Oh, this guy's got a secret doorway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you saw him come out of it before. <laughs> they let her have this. <laughs> There's a difference between seeing it and registering it in your mind, especially when you're a buffer. Yeah. That, that is true. That is true. Uh, was there anything um, else you wanted to do, real quick? God, I don't think so. There's, there's stuff she can do, but she's kind of got to see something to hit it. That is mm -hmm. true. All right, Miss Foam. Uh, yeah, I don't know what she can do. She's probably also looking around. Um. But mechanically, as an action, I think she would, because she has no spell slots for that, um, just action uh, dodge. So oh, any attacks on her, disadvantage and advantage on dexterity saving throws. Excellent. Good choice. That's Good choice. That's she can really do right now. I mean, like, frankly, you are do doing better at this shit than... Um... I, like, you you have more uh, more awareness of the various things you can do in D and D, uh, like combat and everything, than I do at times. So <laughs> you're doing good. Um, I probably should have had Biff run to like where she last saw this guy. I don't know if that's possible still, but uh, I just remember that. You know what? I'm gonna say yeah, you can. So you've ran over, you, which means like you're now gonna be standing next to um, Doctor Buffin. Um, yep thing is next up it is actually rook's turn and he is going to reappear and you guys aren't actually going to see where he is the only person that is going to have uh, an awareness of who he is is going to be ms foam thanks to that 18 in perception in you don't see him however you do hear the tapping of footsteps from down the corridor where the secret door led god fucking damn it ha <laughs> ha <laughs> <laughs> uh uh, speaking is a free action, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, she's gonna say over there. <laughs> Just fucking point to where the fucking tapping is. <laughs> good, good choice. And uh, it's gonna quickly uh, do that sort of thing. I don't need to roll anything for that. Um, all right. In that case, it's Tidbit's turn, and Tidbit is still kind of recovering from you know almost being melted by acid, and also yeah. having heard his uh, best friend be very upset and everything. So he's mostly over at Boffin, going like, "Are you okay? What's going on? What is? Who is he? What? What? What's? What is going on?" And Boffin's just like, "Well, I think he's my great great uncle, or some uh, once removed, my cousin, or something along those lines." But uh. Suffice to say, he is not a good person. <laughs> um, is that Tidbit's turn? That Yeah, that was Tidbit's turn. And Sugi, that's because you. Because Sugi is going to reply, what he is, is he's getting away! Nice. And he is going to... Um, 
it's interesting because he is casting Expeditious Retreat, but it's really not twisting the way that it would normally when a Warren casts it. Uh, most of the time it's like, Mimi, pew! Or like, <laughs> there's a little dust cloud behind him. This is a pissed off Tsugi and... Um, like an anime. Like an yes, anime. It's very, it's very much that he's starting to get motion blurs and he already has a movement speed of 40 and he's dashing now. Mm-hmm. So he he's barreling at this guy. Um, at 80 feet, would that be enough to see him? 80 feet is not just enough to see him, it would be enough to catch up with him. It also, I don't think you're going to even get the full 80 feet, because I'm going to say you maybe get to about half that, um, and then you see not only this guy, but you also see, um, hmm. The only- Another pit? <laughs> pit, 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 pit. <laughs> I was about to be dramatic, but all right. I no, can't just no, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, I'm dramatic. sorry, I'm so sorry. No, I mean, if you want me to drop you down another pit, that no! can be arranged. No, <laughs> please, something else, anything else. So you just going too fast to fall down a pit. It's like Mario, you yeah. can run over them. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got like fucking um, coyote time. But no, what you see is actually him standing up from where he had knelt down uh, above the floor, and he's holding this, he's holding, like, a vial of, like, strange dark purple-green liquid, much like the one that you guys saw back out in the other thing being distilled. So that's fine. Um, and an eyedropper, and has just obviously gone drop, drop, drop on some things, because as you are running towards and you see these, frankly, abominations Yay! start to rise from the ground from where he had, like, gone with these dropper and they are shifting around you know like ferrofluid have yes. you seen how black ferrofluid tends to move when you move a magnet near it yes yes mm-hmm. yes 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 yeah. basically think of that and then growing bigger and then growing bigger and then taking some form that would be like a zombie but made of ink so then mm. these things start to come shuffling towards you. It's still technically your turn. This is all just flavor text. But you do see three of these inky aberrations <laughs> rise in front of you and blocking you from just barreling right towards Elias. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let me really quickly clarify. If I spend a key point to take an action... Does that count as a bonus action, or is that my action? Now, wasn't because Expeditious I... Retreat a bonus action? Expeditious Retreat is a bonus action to cast. Yeah. Yes. So they're... Specifically because he's worn. The reason I'm asking this is I am able, with patient defense, to spend a key point to take the dodge action... And would that count as a bonus action, or I'm, would that be my turn? I mean, you already have your action. I would say, so, like, you still actually have your action to do whatever you like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, so, what you did, because you didn't have to use your full movement, is yeah. bonus used... action, expeditious retreat, movement, run up to him, where you are now. Yeah, and you've only used half your movement as well. So, as an action without spending the key point, you can still take the dodge action... Yeah, you could have you could have used an action to dash, but you didn't do that yet. So okay, you can still use that but, action to uh, do something. But let me just clarify: if I spend a, a key point and I haven't used my bonus action, does the key point make it a bonus action? Mm-hmm. Yes, because normally yeah. you'd, okay. they would take a full That action. is exactly what I need to clarify. But you don't um, spend any of those to use the key point. You're spending the key point to do that as a bonus action. Yeah. Okay. Because I think what he would Welcome like to, to do... Action economy. <laughs> a, what he would like to do is instead of using a key point, uh, since we now know that we can use the dodge action... I think what he would like to do is he would like to come up short, focus deeply. Oh, he already does that. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) (laughs) Never speak to me again. You've just made the rest of this campaign difficult because I will never listen to you ever again. Go away. 
<laughs> oh god, I'm gonna ha- we're gonna have to repeat Mark for snail's sake so many times. <laughs> I love you, Mark. I am just kidding. Um, I'm just if, up now. <laughs> if I spend my action doing the dodge action, can I still run through the enemies to Rook, knowing that I'll get opportunity attacks? But would I still have the benefit of doing the dodge action since I'm not attacking them? Ooh, I good question. I'm actually like, uh, Mark Liz, do you know this? My my instinct is because you're specifically taking your action to dodge, then yeah, you would still have uh advantage. I mean if you've used if you've used half your movement, it means you've moved twenty feet. Like this isn't a very long corridor. Okay. Actions in combat. Because you can break up um, movement, so you can do movement, action, movement. Yeah. yeah. Um, Until the start of your next turn, any attack roll made against you has disadvantage if you can see the attacker, and you make dexterity saving throws with advantage. Uh, you lose this benefit if you're incapacitated, your speed drops to zero. Yeah, just until the start of your next turn. It doesn't have to be done at the end of this turn. Yeah, so All yeah, right. you would you would be able to continue to dodge this as you are running past. You will be taking attacks of opportunity from all three of them, though. They have a disadvantage. Yeah. Cool. So Sugi stops rather than coming up short. Mark! <laughs> I love you. I am totally kidding. Um, you see, um, like you get a close cut of his face that that's underneath the eye. You see him breathe in. You see him breathe out. And then he shoots forward again aiming for every spot that he can see that gives him a little more ways because he is going to beat Rook's ass. <laughs> nope, that's fair. Good. Okay, uh, I'm just going to straight up roll 60-20, um, add three to the results and everything and all that. All right, Sounds so good. that was a seven, a um, 16, and a nine. That's 16. 7, 16, 9, all of them fail. What's your, what's your AC oh, yeah. again? It's like 18. It's right? 18? What the f- Yeah, it's because you're a fucking dodgy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, finally getting to work instead of that one time that it failed me! <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. You're gonna be sore about that for the rest of the campaign. <laughs> all right. Probably so- just until- pro- I probably got rid of my soreness just right then when I finally got to proof that <laughs> Okay, okay, cool. okay that's, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, you and s- sprint through as these strange creatures raise gloppy tendrils, arms, trying to wrap them around you, and then they just miss because you are ducking and dodging in between all of them. I wish you could see you the arm motions that Kai is making. It's very, very good. <laughs> Evocative. It's just floppy Excellent. and floppy and gloppy. <laughs> that's their names now. <laughs> floppy, gloppy, and Sal. <laughs> I'm not changing my notes to give them names. You can remember these. All right, so um, and we will <laughs> writing it down. Floppy, gloppy, and so. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's your turn, Sugi. Next up is Boffin, who is going to uh, quickly like extract himself from the worried tidbit, and it's just going to like lean over, look down the corridor, and see these things, um, and probably see you sprint past and ignoring them. And he's going to turn to the others and just go, like, whatever you do, do not hurt them. See if we can try to capture them or stop them. But but if, if you cannot hurt them, that, that would be the best idea, please. Ooh. He's talking about Rook, specifically? No. No, the Goopy Boys. <laughs> oh, the floppy, Goopy Gloppy, okay, and okay, Sal. Cool, good. Yeah. <laughs> Great news. Um, and none of you know why, unless you feel like asking him. But again, six seconds. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Frankie, you'll go. Uh, what Frankie is going to do is, uh, cast Alter Self, um, and what that looks like, uh, is she sort of puffs up a little bit, she looks, but you know when you put, like, a static near a, near a sort of a fluffy, a fluffy plastic toy, she goes poof, uh, and her, and she, she pops out these, like, long rainbow colored claws 
uh, and she is going to take off uh, in the direction of uh, the rest of the party. Um, I don't think I'll be so able to get into... You're actually only the second person to go running down the corridor, and if you get use your full movement, uh, like 30 feet movement... Um then you can stand right in front of the inky aberrations. That's cool, that's cool. I don't actually want to, like, get too close to them because they are probably going to attack me. This is more just sort of a, like, um... Get near to them. Uh, do as close to as uh, Boffin has uh, instructed. Hopefully Sugi won't do a murder. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, that's, I mean, that's what Frankie's doing. He's not focused on the gloopies. They're already behind him. Oh, yeah, yeah, but so. late, but afterwards, you know. And also, like, you might get ganged up on them, uh, ganged up on by them, so. <laughs> not that she cares or anything. Aww. <laughs> uh, Biff, back to the top of initiative. Okay. Biff is going to look at uh, Boffin for just a second and then between okay I'm good at words is the thing here Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if I've said it but she is going to pull out her um, lead pipe which is a mall flavored mall Uh, and she is going to kind of stomp up toward these things and they get one fucking chance she's going to use channel divinity uh she's going to use her conquering presence so each uh creature of her choosing um within 30 feet of her has to make a wisdom saving throw if rook is in that 30 feet she'll get as close as she can basically she'll even get up into melee range with them yeah because like rook was right behind uh those creatures so yeah if rook can be in that 30 foot radius that'd be great but you know theater of the mind yep yep uh Uh, and they all need to make a wisdom saving throw cool one moment well the inky aberrations are not great at that they're not great Mm -hmm. at that Uh, let me just Mm -hmm. uh 20 you know what? Just... Um, that will be <laughs> a nat twenty, which is actually a nineteen. Uh, but like nat twenty, a twelve, and a seven. Okay, is that for the gloopy boys? That's for is the Rook gloopy boys. Feet or no? Yeah. So gloopy. Those are the gloopy boys that you are basically. Uh, okay. What? Ten feet away? Like the five feet away now? Yeah, she'll be. She could get if she can get up in a melee range. She will. And I need to do wisdom saving throw for fucking Elias. Fuck this guy. Um, Fuck this man. That was a twenty-three. <laughs> okay. Uh, only one of the gloopy boys fails. It's a DC of thirteen. Um, uh, no, no, because it was that, that was a twelve. So actually, two of the gloopy boys fail. Oh hell yeah, two of them fail. Hell yeah. Um, so they are frightened for one minute. Okay. I believe. They can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of their turns. Okay. If, if they want to. But they are frightened. Okay. Death. And uh, frightened is a powerful thing. Yeah. She oh. has just stomped up, probably behind. I like the image of Frankie kind of running over, and like they all, like two of them start kind of shying away and starting to like run away. And Frankie's like, yeah, that's right. I'm scary. <laughs> 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 yeah. The shadow of Biff falls. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Somebody please disabuse her of this illusion. <laughs> it's going to do some damage. I was going to say, uh, uh, one thing I will, again, flavor text here, flavor text. Biff, I'm guessing you've used this before. I'm guessing you have a lot of experience in making people frightened. Um, these things don't have faces as such, but they do kind of have body language to an extent. And what you see, while yes, there is definitely fear there, because yes, you have frightened them, um, there's also just sadness and longing, and the noises that they're making seem to be almost a wail. And we Sorry, man, that's not my problem. (laughs) And we will move on to Miss Foam's turn. Oh, excellent. We can work with this, we can work with this. (laughs) Uh, If... I roll insight at disadvantage. Can I check to see 
read buffing even a little bit because that she, I she would, didn't get why as, would as good as an insight as Frankie earlier, but she did get enough that there was some hesitation when he was speaking with uh, Elias before. So I will say that like you don't even have disadvantage; you can just roll inside if you want. Cool. Uh, and I just double checking the insights. Yep, it is that. Buffin is not trying to hide his emotions. Twenty-two. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> okay, Buffin is like as Buffin is looking down this and trying to like peer, trying to peer past uh, the absolute brick wall that is Biff, because yeah. this, the corridor is kind of small. It's only just wide enough for like one person at a time. Um, tr- he's trying to peer past and a get a sign at the side of rock and b have a better look at these inky aberrations because uh you notice that as soon as he caught sight of them he just went white all the blood drained out of his face and considering how worked up he went before and gotten pretty flushed over that uh that was a pretty dramatic color change for a human oh no so he looks genuinely scared but not necessarily scared for himself this is a concern for other creatures and i say creatures rather than people because uh when he was yelling out don't hurt them he wasn't talking he definitely wasn't saying it to protect you guys that is because he has realized something about these creatures so kai kai is this uh is this an amalgam situation are we going full full undertale on this roll to find out i fucking guess (laughs) (laughs) no i've got to wait i've got to wait for my turn i've got to wait for my turn Things have been amal- amalgamations and uh, golems before Undertale. Look, I'm not just ripping off everything from like Undertale and Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> yeah, but also consider that's my closest reference point, and yeah. this is also sad. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they just also happen to do these really cool rad things. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, so yeah, technically that insight check was your action, Ms. Phone, but you do have yeah. movement and bonus actions and shit. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I, uh, I can... Yeah, she doesn't have her fucking funky thingy anymore, but she won't be in main range because there's a party in front of the boys. Um, but she will... There's a party up... in front of the boys! <laughs> yeah, there's a party in front of Fluffy Sloppy Goffy and Gat Sal. Um... <laughs> Wait, you've added one. <laughs> floppy, no, sloppy, that's gloppy. Me. That's me. Me. Their names are Floppy, Gloppy, and Sal. You so... already got one wrong. <laughs> well, no, a Sloppy's just going to get added to it. No, we don't need another one. Um, Not if Suki yeah. has anything to say about it. God. <laughs> yeah, Miss Foam is going to run up and she's going to say, I can restrain him. Just go for the wizard. Even though he is not a wizard. I know this, but she doesn't. Wait, who are you restraining? Uh, she's she's uh, gesturing to our uh, three boys. Okay, but well, two of the them are. The spell that she has in mind is uh, Radius. So, please move. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, move if you want to. All right. I mean, like, yeah, it depends. Because, I mean, the thing is, we've now currently got um, the three other members of the PC party within five feet of Floppy Gloppy and Sal. <laughs> so, um... I mean, she's settled up behind the two who are deciding to go and tango up close. Yeah, yes. if the way is not very wide, by the way, I think Biff would have tried to maybe, like, go past Frankie if mm-hmm. she would... Uh, letter but you know yeah I'll, I'll be nice enough and kind of say that you are more or less within the same square considering this is good at being a wall <laughs> <laughs> um all right so next up is uh elias's turn no um mm-hmm. he's going to see tsugi charging right at him he is going to be scared he is going to be stumbling backwards uh which technically does invoke an attack of opportunity if you want to take it um kill oh, kill yes, kill fighting murder blood <laughs> because you're within right. five feet <laughs> well there's tunes so blood mm. is debatable mm. okay Tsugi is gonna roll this thing that he you don't get does attacking attack. do it disadvantage yeah. Um, no. I, well, no. the thing is, um, the th- actually, 
you are going to be at disadvantage, but not because of what you're thinking of. <laughs> okay. Cool. Hate that. Yeah, cool. We don't get a disadvantage because of uh, the exhaustion. Exhaustion. Day. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's a seven. And the thing is, what happens is even as this guy dodges out of the way and you raise back your fist to take a punch at him, you can just feel the skin on the back of your neck crawling from the aberrations that are behind you and you can feel every instinct going, don't turn your back on them, don't turn your back on them. So even as you are going to punch, you are very much distracted because everything in your brain is yelling, this is not the thing you should be fighting. So you miss and Rook scrambles backwards and pulls yet another lever. Thankfully, no pit this time. Oh my god! (laughs) There's not another fucking pit this time. Instead, um, you know, remember ages back, a full fucking nine sessions ago, when you guys were being served dinner? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know the little animatronic butler waiter thing, guys, that were kind of a little bumper car? Uh, they, they like had little hooks up to the ceiling as they were moving about yes. the place. Yeah, five of uh-huh. five of those descend and kind of just form a wall in front of Elias, who stands behind them and just <laughs>, laughs at you because <laughs> it's not going to be that easy. <laughs> and that's his turn. Um, it's Tidbit. Tidbit is now just kind of like the only person who is not basically directly in front of the door. There's no more room in front of the door. So he's just kind of like peering over Ms. Foam <laughs> and Boffin and just going, I'm the only one with attack cantrips. <laughs> 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 and so he can't do shit. And uh, yeah, Tsugi, your turn. Yeah, so he's still uh, Rook is still maniacally holding that jar, right? Uh, yep. He's always slipped it back into his hammer space now, but he has still got it. No, (laughs) fuck! Stupid! I love you. You're not stupid. (laughs) But he's stupid. I'm doing this to specifically make your life difficult. Come on, this is meant to be the boss fight. It's the damn job. Yeah, but I want a boss fight that I can crush! You can't make things hard on me! I'm just a little guy! (laughs) <laughs> I, you are bastard so of course I'm going to make uh, things hard on you I will say also at this point you are specifically cut off from like everyone else because like Frankie and Biff are very much preoccupied with the aberrations Yep. so <laughs> you're kind of on your own there have fun <laughs> you right there Snow? Thinking. Okay. Having a think. Having a good think. (laughs) Not helping. If it's okay, okay, I just remembered something. Yeah? Mm. Two things. Did you drop bless Biff? Slash Mark? Uh, Gosh. It only lasts like a minute. Okay, cool. Um, I need to double check what spider climb is. I'm going to double check. Because I haven't dropped that yet. Yeah, Spider Clang is an it, Yeah, hour. it's concentration up to a minute. I mean, we might be at the very end of it, but it's really for uh, saving throws. Oh, it's yeah. attack roll, technically. Mm-hmm. Eh. She yeah. probably dropped it, honestly. There's a lot going on. There's plenty yeah, going there's on. There's a lot going on. Bit hard to concentrate on things when, like, this is happening. Yeah. I, I mean, if if it helps, Miss Firm has not dropped Spider Climb yet. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you. We can. That's a secret tool that we can use for later. <laughs> so, you're saying that attacks don't have disadvantage, mm-hmm. but if I attack, I have disadvantage because I'm not looking at the gloopy boys. Uh, basically, yeah. One moment. Let me just paste a thing into chat. It's uh, they've got a fun little thing called Aura of Madness. Um, nice. Because uh, basically, you look at them and you hate looking at them because they are these things should not exist. Everything, like specifically for everyone in the party who is a toon, looking at these things is very much. This is wrong. Everything about this is so very wrong. Um, 
So, yeah, you have disadvantage on any attack rolls that is against anything that isn't an inky aberration. Ink shouldn't be doing that. Ooh. Okay, so if I do unarmed strikes, can I say that they're non-lethal damage? Yes. All right. He's going to turn around to the inky aberrations, and he is going to... Unarmed strike one. Unarmed strike again. Miss. Yes. And yes. he's going to do jack shit. Is there anything? Is was there anything else you can do? Have you got any bonus actions? Nope. Okay. Well, you had a good go. I didn't even think I actually made the AC for these guys uh, too high, but I'm sorry. They were just shit rolls on the die, honestly. Just... Yeah. It was a, t- a three and a two. You can't control for that. Dice are just out to get no, you, Tsuki. Can't you... Hey, uh, can't you do a bonus action attack? If you want to. You might want to hold on doesn't cost a key point. No, so... he gets two attacks. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm thinking... Yeah, brain. There's a key point thing you could do, but yeah. like there's a key point, but that's you know that's that's uh, yeah okay. So basically, circles. you try and punch these, and in the same way that you managed to kind of just dodge around them earlier when you were going past them, they managed to very easily glop around any of the punches that you try and pull at them. So uh, yeah, sorry that didn't really work. <laughs> Next, y'all, yeah, these guys suck. Yep. Uh, next up is Boffin, who he he has like no spell slots. He has some spell slots left, but um, no helpful spells. I think the one thing is he can actually do is try and kind of run up a little bit and tap um, tap Frankie on the shoulder and just mm-hmm. goes uh, like uh, Miss, uh, you mind fun sis and. Kurt casts mage armor. Oh Yay! my god! <laughs> god bless. <laughs> bless up. Thank you, dear. So your uh, base AC is now thirteen plus your dex modifier. Oh, I believe. So I think that's like an add not plus two. Good. Is it that? Let me or have is a it look. A... I believe that's a plus. Oh no, no, it's actually no. It's plus three. Plus three. So so that makes yeah. So your your armor class is now fourteen rather than eleven. Oh, thank god. Congrats. Hey. And then he kind of just, like, starts edging back down the corridor, but only has 30 feet of movement, so it doesn't get the full way back down. <laughs> <laughs> Prob- honestly, retreating, probably a good idea. Um, and Frankie, it's your turn. Um, Ms. Foam has a, has something, has an, has clearly has an idea in mind, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, so, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to order in my brain. There are two things that I want to do. One of them, if that's a free action, just to sort of, like maybe tap on Biff's shoulder and like be like, we need, to, we need to back off a little bit here, dear. Or with one moment, um, because we don't want to get caught in the radius of whatever Ms. Foam is planning. Um, so uh, I don't know if that counts as a free action or anything, but yeah, don't do be try, uh, very much trying to persuade Biff to be like, hey, if you could just hold off on doing the hitting thing for like, one more round that would be good i know you want to hit things really bad but also let's try not to do a murder um and also for um uh either either way frankie is going to be backing uh just out of range of whatever ms firm is probably going to do um and also if i would also want to make a can i argue arcana for um checking like what exactly these things are, what yeah. they do, and what they're made out of. Can okay, I, a good role. Can I also argue advantage because of my school, because of what's going on? Because you're a necromancer, yes, I will. I would give this to you, but um, considering that all skill checks have disadvantage, yeah, you can't yeah. be anyway. You're negating the disadvantage. Yeah, though. so you just you just have a normal fucking role. Okay, fine. Well, that's a twenty-three that's anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this, 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 there are there are uh, very few things that Frankie is genuinely good at. Dead things are one of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first thing that I will say when you look at these is you know that these actually aren't undead. 
Oh, okay. Because, which is really fucking weird to you, uh, considering that everything about them is is just wrong. It feels so fucking wrong. Mm. Uh, but the closest you think that these might get would be, like, homunculi of a sort. You know that this is definitely some form of life put into a body that it doesn't belong to. Mm. But at the same time, you're looking at the forms of these, and I will actually give this to you, even though your perception check was not high enough. You look at this, and there is a spark of recognition in the back of your mind. You didn't really pay that much attention to the other people that were attending the dinner party with you, but you did have a chat with quite a few of them. Mm. And you're looking at these ones now, and you see that uh, that one seems to, the way it's moving about doesn't seem quite right, but you can make out, oh yeah, that's a beak, maybe some wing feathers, and it's this is possibly some sort of bird once and that one over there the way that it stands up quite tall and the little flowing out thing from its hips that that looks like a skirt is that maybe that poodle that you talked to right at the beginning that biff did think was kind of suspicious when you (laughs) when you were all first entering and you get hit by these aren't undead but they're not quite alive anymore but these were the people that you were having dinner with earlier that you were chatting about and making connections with and handing out business cards to and you look at them and you go this isn't necromancy this is something else and even to you it is horrendous oh you poor things she is genuinely upset by this she is genuinely upset by this yeah, I don't. I don't think I have any. I don't think I ever. I have anything else that I can do. Just like, yeah, I got that knowledge now, and uh, yeah. and re- reiterating. I just um, back the fuck up. Reiterating. <laughs> can back I back the fuck out the way? Can I jump in because I know Miss Foam said to move out the way, but if she sees Frankie is moving backwards, she she would say. I, I, you should go forward, which is risky for the wizard. I understand <laughs> this, but also Sugi's on the other side. Nope, fair enough. <laughs> yep. No, that's a that 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 is fine. Uh, yeah, she will take your advice again. Not uh, not not a battle creature. This uh, 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 Frankie, not 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 battle creature at all. So yeah. All right, so as you as you make your dive through these guys, uh, they are of course gonna do the attacks of opportunity. Yeah, two of them have disadvantage because Biff is within their line of sight. Okay, <laughs> uh, I will. <laughs> and they do. are frightened. All right, I'm gonna say the two with disadvantage are gonna be the first two pairs of rolls in this, mm-hmm. and all of it has a plus three. Um, Okay, so that's going to be a a 12, a 6, and then a 19. Okay, the 19 get the hits. Oh, good. Got to be grateful you've got that mage armor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the one of them uh, reaches out and you, you're not sure what it was before, uh, but it basically plaps a hand onto you and you can just... You feel it grating uh, uh, past your fur and scraping against you and burning uh, very slightly. Uh, but the good news is, it's not actually that much damage. Don't fear I will be the judge of that. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, it's eight damage. <laughs> it's like, oh. Cool, cool, half. cool, cool, cool. I have nine hit points. <laughs> less than half. <laughs> Just a less than half. Sorry, I really thanks, Miss Foam. <laughs> Sorry about that, honey. <laughs> it's fine. You should genuinely be saying thanks, Biff. Just gonna throw it out there. Biff yeah, doesn't yeah. think this specifically in the moment, but I'm thinking it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's eight slashing damage, and you have got through to the other side. Um, and next up is Biff. Okay, so they have done their opportunity attack. They've used their reaction to attack Frankie. Mm-hmm. So I mean, Biff could just fucking walk through. Um, yeah. Rook has those robots. Do they look like they are like attack? Like would attack? Um, you could just shoulder charge them to get through through to him. I mean, yeah, you could. 
I will say at the moment, uh, they don't. The, they, they hold on like kitchen knives or anything. Like, I don't know. Uh, they're not holding any knives. They do have like arms because those were the things holding all the plates and everything earlier. But they mostly just seem to be standing there uh, in a line, blocking things. Just do a ru- turn it into a rugby scrum. Um. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much what Biff is gonna do. Hey. I mean, because can... again, she was asked not to attack these guys, and as long as none of them attack her, yeah, she'll probably be fine. I mean, like that's that's and they that's won't. reasonable. Yeah, because like they've already used up their reaction getting Frankie. God damn it! <laughs> Should have saved it. <laughs> Uh, it's probably e- e- better for them to try and go for Frankie because she's easier to knock down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and also, it makes more sense because they're currently terrified of you, so I think they're kind of, e- even if when you do run past, they'll probably kind of like reach out, but it's not an actual attack because they're scared to touch yeah, you. Yeah, let's go, go, go for the sparkly, squishy wizard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what you get for being sparkly. And squishy. Yeah. Okay, Biff is going to... Yeah, she's she's gonna just barrel. She's gonna put her head down, and like <laughs> barrel through like a freaking football player making a touchdown. Like just pushing uh, through these guys and past Frankie and past Sugi and through the automatons. Oh god, what would this be? I reckon this would probably be athletics role just to see kind of like how sure. how strong you are pushing through. But you're at fucking disadvantage. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, let's make sure I got my numbers. Where's my numbers? All right, first one's an eight. Oof. It's an eight. That's an eight. That's nowhere near enough. I am very okay. sorry to say. I mean, can I say that she is using her movement to go through the d- dudes, though? She can't, she's not getting through the, the automatons, but like no, she's she, oh yeah, you've definitely gotten. She's through. using her movement also to go past yeah. these guys. You are now, now they're actually on the other side of her. Uh, so if they wanted to move, they'd have to move toward Miss Foam. Yeah, and you know the other two squishy wizards that you got. <laughs> yep, that um, I also am aware, I'm aware of. But, you know, uh, sometimes. but yeah, you managed to so you managed to get through the inky aberrations. Uh, you are now out into the secondary room where uh, like it, it's it's gotten a bit wider. It's not the corridor. It's like it's another little work chamber. Uh, and now that three of you are there, all of you got really shit on your perception checks. So I'm not going to go into super detail, but nice. it is a larger room. There are a lot of papers scattered about. This isn't filled with ingredients like the previous lab was this now seems to be a bit more of like a research station and writing down hundreds of notes and it's a bit of a mess and there are weird levers fucking everywhere but mm-hmm. um the there's other odds and ends but again you got ship perception checks uh you are now That's on the fine. other side the air, whole area is probably about f- 40 feet by uh 40 feet square call it for the sake oh no it's going to be a circle and <laughs> Yeah, you run into these, uh, the waiter robots, and then you just fucking bounce off because these were made sturdier than you were expecting. And huh. metal is very hard to dent at times. Biff, like, stands back a second, cracks her neck, and she's like, okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. And Miss Foam, what have you been planning? Excellent, 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 excellent. Uh, whoopsie daisy, I did slash she did forget about the wizards on the other side. <coughs> she wanted to know what the else on the other side. Oh, God. What do you mean? <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. The wizards this... are behind her. Yeah. Yeah, the wizards are behind her. The party's in front of her. And Miss Foam is currently mingling with the uh, abjurations. Uh, uh, aberrations. Aberrations. I'm... I am now imagining like a social event where it's them <laughs> yeah. and it's and it's like, yeah, we're like pretty similar. Yeah, yeah, shape wise. No, it's chill, you know. Uh, we're not that different, you and I. Yeah. <laughs> Boffin said, uh, you know, don't hurt them, just keep them restrained. Okay, she can do that. But first, she needs to fucking get the hell out. So, um,. Would she still take attack of opportunities if she ran through them? Um, yeah, if you are, yeah, if you're trying to get turn. to the other side, then yeah, you would, wouldn't you? They okay. haven't had a turn since they went for Frankie. Mm-hmm. Mm. So they don't have a reaction. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, you're safe. 
Oh, of course. Cool. Uh, so she'll full movement, uh, move through them, uh, and then spin around, and she is going to attempt to cast Entangle, which Ooh. is a bunch of vines just shoot out of her face and just dig into the ground, and they're going nice. to pop up to where they are and a uh, 20 foot square, starting from a point within rage, which is the center of where these uh, dudes are, uh, will appear. And this area is now considered difficult terrain, and a creature within the area must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by the entangled plants and or until the spell ends. So unfortunately, spider climb is dropped yep. because this is also a uh, concentration, but you know, you do what you do. Cool. So strength saving throw, was it? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yes. these guys have shit strength. <laughs> I hope it's um, fine. And then it's going to be... Um, so that's going to be a 2, a 12, and a 14. Uh, God, uh, makes it beats it. So only the 2 definitely does not save. So it is restrained. Okay. Everybody else is fine, but there's in difficult terrain. Alrighty. Uh, so they're not going to be able to get very far with that. Um, and whose turn is it now? And it's back to Rook, who, um... What Did you put these to? guys in initiative? Uh, I just put them at the end of Rook's turn, to be quite honest. Um, oh, okay, that's fine. That's good. <laughs> like I'm gonna make. I life... feel like it's been a while. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna make life easy for myself and group as many turns as Fair. I fucking can. Good idea. Um, do, 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 do. I think uh, what he's going to do is he's going to kind of look at you guys and go, uh, uh, "Is not going to be too happy about how you guys just seem to be charging through and the aberrations don't seem to be doing much." Yeah. Um, so you actually kind of just go, well, it's a good thing that I prepared for this. And you see this shining bit of glass go flying through the air over the tops of the, um, clockwork waiters and then landing right in the middle of you guys. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> and he is actually going to be casting Cone of Cold. Oh boy. <laughs> Fuck. Hate yeah. Cone of Cold. One moment, let me pull up the fucking thing for this. Uh, oh, this is the spell that killed Higgs. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Higgs died like five times. Well, so. this was one of them. Yeah. So, and uh, I think it was three, maybe four. Four. Um, but yeah, so realistically, like, this isn't going to be a, a cone of cold as such. It's actually going to be a... Re like a... Um, 15 foot radius uh circle oh, and, and from where out? this um hello hello i'm back kai oh. hello yeah no okay. kai come back i'm here i'm kai, still here please. <laughs> can you guys... all non gender neutral help hello can you guys hear me <laughs> hello no, yeah, yeah. Hear you okay. now. Hello. oh hi oh my god that was fucking weird because we, we could hear you guys just fine. that was alarming <laughs> huh. Scary. all right but yeah, this isn't going to be a cone as such. It's actually going to be a 15-foot radius uh, emanating from the center of where it landed uh, in you guys. Um, I'm going to still need you guys to make con saves, please. Do you really, though? Do yep. you have to? Yeah, I do. I do. <sighs> we don't have disadvantage on these. Uh, no, because they are saving throws rather than skill yeah. checks. Yeah. Constitution. Oh, thank God! All right, Frankie is safe with that 20. Uh, Biff is safe with that 17. Tsugi is not safe with that 14. Oh, no! Oh, shit. Tsugi, you're the only one who can actually do something. Oh, no! And Miss Vizfoam oh, no. is not safe with that 6. Oh, boy, oh, boy. It's and cold. Yep. Oh, Moss does not do good in the cold. Yeah, this this guy is uh not does not like you guys and is trying to take you out because he doesn't like you guys. We don't like him. So yeah, no, no, yeah buddy, we don't even. Um, that's thirty. Well, I don't like him that much. That is thirty two damage for both Ms. Foam and Sugi. Why did you let him deal that much damage, Kai? Yeah, and damage. then sixteen damage for both. Um, Shit. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. 16 damage for um, my brain is dead, Biff, and I think Frankie is yeah, now yeah. unconscious. Yeah, yeah, fucking you've immediately... You've oh killed, shit, I've killed, killed two people. 
This guy's not playing Can't around. Just... Do you guy want to have a the... campaign after this guy? Oh. Yes. I see. <laughs> well, there's some things Kai can do as a DM if they yeah. don't want to immediately kill us. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, again, like, I would also like to point out I've still got two wizards that haven't done shit all so far in this fight. Uh, it ain't Very over yet. True. You immediately killed all three of us. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hey, hey, so, Biff, um, your three, three friends are just instantly dead. Uh, sorry. Hello? You're gone again. Oh god. No! Come on, I, I'm a- guys? Hello? Hi! Okay, I can hear Kai, I can okay. hear Kai. Yeah, so, um, this is, that's- that basically- so I think Rook does that and just goes like, Ah, yes, that makes things a lot easier. And now it's the Aberration's turn, and with Ms. Foam down, I'm guessing all the vines go away. Oh, oh yeah, true. Oh, it's concentration. Uh, concentration baby! Yeah, okay, so they're actually going to start because, um, they can't go towards Biff. They're gonna start glopping their way towards uh, Boffin, who is still only halfway down the corridor. No, don't kill him! Um, <laughs> Boffin. Well, he's got more hit points than Biff does. So yeah, it's Boffin's, yeah, Boffin's. Go with his go. Yeah, Boffin's. Boffin's fine. Boffin is probably like the best person left uh, that they could be going after. <laughs> they are going to attack. Uh, very sorry. I'm very like again. I'm not happy with this, but I am happy with this because this is fine. fucking a delight. <laughs> yeah, says you. Um, only one of those hit, and that's two D oh, plus one. Oh no, Boffin gets scraped by one for a grand total of eight damage. He is so da he's oh, fine. Great. Oh I mean, no. He obviously like he does recoil back as he gets hit by this, and just like ugh, and like tries to get the fuck away from that because next up is i'm gonna need um next up is tidbit who is going to run forward and oh god does he even have anything that's going to be helpful here he, i don't think to hit i think any kind of healing at all um wizards. they're wizards they're wizards, wizards. Those. thing is one of them does actually have Ooh, I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to be nice here, and I'm going to say because we have got Mage Hand over here. Wait, were you? who's got Mage Hand? I think it's Boffin that's got Mage Hand. Uh, yeah, Boffin's got Mage Hand. Okay, so Tidbit can't do much for the moment, however, he is going to just kind of like dra try to drag um, Boffin away. Boffin is then. Do you have any, like, a hold person or, like, a uh -oh. barrier of some kind against these things? I was say, again, they've only got, like, one spell slot. They've only got, like, one spell slot each. And we've got enlarge and reduce. <laughs> Actually, you know what? <laughs> okay, I think mm -hmm. Tidbit. When Boffin doesn't want to go away, um, Tidbit's gonna just kind of go forward and he's going to uh, reduce one of the inky aberrations. Oh, small! Um, Shrinking! On a success, it's gonna make a con save. What's what's these things con save? It's nothing. Wonderful. Okay, this is Don't say that. No, then they'll win. Oh, is a 15 enough? Is a 15 enough? It's not enough! Okay, what? we've got one of them is shrunk down. Amazing. Okay, oh, wasn't... thank thank God. Jesus. Sorry, I thought you were rolling for I thought you were rolling for Tidbit and is like, oh god, did he not manage to get past it? So Tidbit just kind of like looks at this thing and just like waves his hand and just kind of like whaps his hand into it and it shrinks down as he smushes it. Quiet down, small man! <laughs> down the <laughs> size. Uh, I cast small your creature. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Alright, so that's all of Tidbit's uh level two spell slots used up. Um Next up, uh, Sugi, can I get a death saving throw? Oh god. That's wrong. It's, it's gotta be, you gotta do a D. Oh shit, that's a fail. Mm -hmm. That's one fail from Sugi. Next up is Boffin, who is quickly going to be patting through his fucking pockets and just going, where is it, where is it, where is it, I know that's Um, and then pulls out, um, he only has two, um potions of healing because he, he has a habit of keeping these on him at work because he sometimes deals with dangerous spells and you know what if you get hurt it's a good idea to be able to heal that 
but he's instead of just tossing those and risking them potentially breaking, he is going to use Mage Hand to carry them over the heads of the Inky Aberration. Oh, thank God! And Biff, he is going to be handing them to you. He can't see the others properly to be able to, like, use Mage Hand to feed it to them. But Biff, you now have two, like, they are the most basic potions of healing, but... They are something. They'll stop at least two of us from dying. Yeah, Frankie, can I get a death saving throw? Mm, that's just a D- flat D20, right? Yep. Uh, four. That's another fail. Okay. Biff, you'll go. Yeah, what kind of healing potions are they? Uh, they are basic potions of healing, which is um, like 2D4 plus 4, I believe it is. Let me double check. It's- uh, it's an action. I'm thinking about the action economy oh, two, again. 2d4 plus 2. Like okay. So yeah, it is going to be an action for you to... It's an action to like feed it to someone. Yeah, right? pretty much. Okay. And then... Don't bother giving the one to Sugi. He'll just waste it. it. Can... <laughs> can... On... Okay. I'm, I have a plan here. Mm. Is drinking one a full action or a bonus action? Realistically, it's an action, I'm fairly certain. Um, yeah, but I think that rule is stupid, so in my games it's a bonus action. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be real- like, cause of the fact I just wiped out three of you, I'm gonna be nice and say it's a bonus action. <laughs> Solid, cool. Um, then what Biff is gonna do is she's go- she- Okay, first thing she's going to do is chug one of them herself. Okay. Uh, how much is the heal- healing potion? It's uh, 2d4 plus 2. Uh, to be fair, Biff took a fair chunk of damage. Alright, 9, not bad. Cool, cool. And then she is going to go to um, Ms. Foam. And she doesn't really know what to do with this, so I think she just kind of cracks it like a... <laughs> like an uh, egg! Yeah, like an egg or like a, I'm thinking like a glow stick on top of kind of where the hole is. Excellent. Uh-huh. Uh, like, just like throw it into the hole, it just keeps on going. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna and see that it into kind of the hole where yeah. she presumes uh, Ms. Foam's face is. Mm-hmm. You hear and, like a uh... swooshing sound. <laughs> That's seven, seven hit points for Ms. Foam. Okay. Okay. And I don't think she can do anything else. She has movement, but can't really... Yeah. If those things are in the way, can't really do anything else. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Let's do initiative. Yeah. Oh, fuck, it's Remix. Yep, Ms. Foam, you are back on your feet after getting completely knocked out. Healing, please, healing. (laughs) Yeah. Ooh, baby. Uh... I mean, I will say she's going to stand... See, they got people on both sides, but she's going to stand between Rook and the rest of the party, whoever she can get behind her. Cool. Uh, I, I, I like to imagine the kind of cold... Do you know when things get frozen in cartoons and they kind of, like, are in motion, but, like, there's icicles sticking off of them? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I like to think that happened to this one where she got fucking got. Um... <laughs> But as soon as the person gets thrown into the cavernous hole, uh, all the <laughs> ice just like melts and just all this water around and she fucking spins around. Uh, and, and Moss she... does like water. Moss does like water. Uh, and she kind of like f- flips up like a bud. <laughs> um, man, I really wish I took that moon druid. Never mind. Uh, she flips <laughs> up like a bud and <laughs> casts a healing word on, on Sugi. So that is 1d4 plus my spell casting modifier. Uh, and it, yeah. I can't think of the word. I think she'll just say up again, but it looks like like watercolor painting of moss sort of grows across his forehead and sort of falls, falls the ice. Oh, uh, but it soon oh, disappears. That's... You take eight. Nice. <laughs> take eight healing, Sugi. You are up. And damage. Snail? Yep. You good? Here. You're back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you took your eight, eight healing points. damage? Eight points. Got it. Eight Got healing it. damage. Hell yeah. So that one was a healing word is a bonus action, so you still have an action, I think, technically. 
Oh, shit! Hey. Talk your movement to stand up if you want to move anywhere. Uh, I'm... Who... She doesn't... She doesn't have the other healing spell, which I believe is a action. Hmm. Um, um, I mean... You got, like, a good berry or anything? No, no good berries. Damn. Uh, I mean, you can do bonus action spells as an action as well, I'm fairly certain. Can you? I mean, yeah, it takes less time than an action. It just yeah. means you wouldn't get an action. I didn't know you could do bonus action spells as an action. Okay, she'll cast healing one again. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, Frankie, you're up and that's a spell slots. And okay. you get healing, and you get healing! <laughs> Uh, okay, one, eight. eight. Does that... Does, how, how do I have to Wait, take... Wait, no, 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 no. I have to roll it again. Seven. Seven. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, that'll do. <laughs> do I have to, like, take anything away from that? Or No, it's it... just back up... Just on seven. You, you go from zero. Off. Okay. <laughs> and erase any death saving throws that you failed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, everyone is back on their feet. Hurrah! And Rook just kind of like, this is the first time when you're looking at him and he does uh, just seem that little bit... Ah. Mm. Jeremy, you and your friends are very resourceful. And he does not seem happy about that. Um, so he leans down and you see him place like a small cake of something white onto the floor and then drop another little bit of ink and another inky aberration. <laughs> so here is, oh! here is uh, Gloppy. That we, here's the Gloppy. No, sorry. not This is Sloppy. <laughs> so we've got Floppy, Sloppy, this Gloppy sloppy. and Sal. Yeah, this is a fucking mood swing of an episode. <laughs> Yep, but <laughs> Floppy and Gloppy are here. Oh, everybody's dead, and now Sloppy's here too. Sal's <laughs> I mean, having listen, a great time being Ky- small. If Kai wanted to spare us, uh, this is a great time to make a dramatic exit. <laughs> I mean, um, think about that for this next turn. That is um, true. That is true. Don't thing is dare pity us. I, know, I was, was going to say, um, I've been nice, and I've decided that pulling any of his levers is an action, um, and also summoning another inky aberration is an action. So he has movement, but he can't really go anywhere. They weren't. <laughs> those weren't actions before. No, because that was me setting up the fucking boss fight. Oh my! <laughs> what is? I don't think you balanced this well. You're alive, aren't you? <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> this guy has also. I think over- it's going great. I was gonna say this guy has also used up like his soul level five spell slot, so like <laughs> it's... he can't go doing I that again. You just gonna stop at the word soul. <laughs> Um, he used up his soul. It is debatable whether he had one to begin with, so. Mm. Yep. Uh, anyway, that's his go done, and we are on to Tidbit, who is going to just, like, uh, he's again used up his spell slot, and I think this time he's just kind of going to go, <sighs> Sir, I know you said not to not to hurt them, but you know what? Fuck this. Oh, <laughs> fuck <laughs> privileges! Yep, Tidbit is using the one fuck a day that he gets, and he is going to cast... Uh, where's his fucking cantrips? He is going to cast Ray of Frost and just kind of... Uh, oh. <laughs> going to get as many of them as he can. He needs to make a spell slot. Let's see, plus six. 20 plus six. So this one is going to be against Floppy. That does hit... Wait, does it hit? Does it hit? Oh, it fucking does. It fucking does. Uh, yes, it hits. Oh, thank okay. God. <laughs> so I'm going to say that um, the first one is going to be taking some cold damage. It's not enough to actually kill it. It's not with one. But I am going to be, again, he's, wait, no, 1d8 per his weight or level is at. He's actually going to take another d8 damage because it's 2d8 because the cantrips go up. How did I roll two ones in a row then? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one is going to be taking two damage. Uh, it now has icicles all over it, and I'm going to call it slowed because I'm going to just say the inky aberrations at the back are now the wizard's problem. You guys get to deal with the clockwork butler, the clockwork waiters, and Elias. And that decided that a while ago. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, next up, Suki, you're back on your feet. How are you doing? Murder! 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 So Rook pulled out the glass container. Yes, he still has it in his hand. He hasn't put it away yet. Okay. 
course it does jack shit. <laughs> Are you okay there? <laughs> Do you want to? Do you want to take a break? We can take Sailor, a break. Are you all right? Yeah, I probably need a break. Okay. Cool. We have been at this for a bit, so yeah. let's call a five-minute break. Go get yourself some tea. If anyone wants to get snacks, you can grab snacks. This is now the night of the time, and I will be right back. Yeet the wizard. <laughs> he said that we should just throw the wizards around. Pick I mean, them up and go eat. Nothing's stopping you. I mean, you could have I mean, we haven't them. thought of it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Mod is just, Mod suggested us. Yeet the wizard. Yeet the wizard. The Biff Express has been cancelled. <laughs> First people back. <laughs> we win. <laughs> <laughs> I do just want to state for the record that, like, I have got this whole fight planned. I wasn't expecting to take three of you out in one go. I was <laughs> expecting to take at least one person out, though. There's, there's a reason that Boffin had those potions. <laughs> I do think it's, I genuinely do think it's very funny that is the uh, Code of Cold is apparently the server's cursed spell. Yeah. What just... is it with this server and uh, ice spells I, doing yeah. unnecessary murder? <laughs> it's <fucking laughs> ridiculous. It's like ice knife. It's like ice knife all over again. It's got ice knife. I've got the thing. It's got the spell that killed Higgs. <laughs> at, at least it wasn't Mock's character that got knocked out this time, I guess. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Oh no, it's very good. Anyway, how's everyone in the gallery going? I'm going to actually come so many people. look at you for a little bit. It's still terrifying. <laughs> yeah, like, Cone of Cold killing PCs, especially in my games, but also, like, I'm fairly certain it's happened 20,000 times in other people's games as well. <laughs> Having fun? Yeah, completely fine. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, we're just, just gonna kill absolutely everyone. We're just chilling. Anyway, I love the inky aberrations because love me some They're tomb good. body horror. I They're good. Love, love me, me some tomb body horror. <laughs> it's like you showed them up and is um you, you brought them up and my 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 ears literally just like pricked up. I was like oh, undead abomination, <laughs> not undead, too much alive abomination. Sort of yes. <laughs> I just, I just love, I just love a good abomination. Yeah, it's it's very, fun time. Very, very it's good, good shit. <laughs> All right, I think that's great. Thank yeah, you. Perfect, wonderful. Hazelnut Gallery, oh. I love you, but you are being muted. Okay, 
And we are back. Completely ignore the state of any uh, mild audio changes that you may be, uh, may be able to hear between the part one of this game and the part two. Absolutely nothing went wrong on the back end to cause us to maybe have to pause no, for a day fine. or two. Like, this is a complete continuation. It's cool. Everything's <laughs> fine. <laughs> anyway, where we are, it is the top of Tsugi's turn. Um, and currently, most of you are on single digits of health, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, other I'm than, on seven. <laughs> other than the Doctors Boffin and Weird, who are off battling the Inky Abominations halfway down a corridor. So, uh, Biff has cool. 20 hit points. Oh, Biff's good, doing good. Good for Biff. She good. chugged a potion <laughs> for herself. <laughs> All right, um... Sugi, in front of you are a row of five six foot tall, um, like a mechanical butler, like robot butlers, and are basically mm-hmm. going, hmm, no, we are not going to let you to the big bad evil guy. We are going to stand here and block your way. What do you wish to do? So I've been thinking during the break that definitely didn't happen. <clears throat> it was um, definitely like 10 minutes for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and and definitely wasn't prompted by outside circumstances in any shape or form. It, it was just a break, you know. It's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I've been thinking that there are sort of two different ways that I can approach it. And then I'm going to do the reverse thing where I first figure out what we do and then do the roles and then describe what emotionally happens mm-hmm. because I don't want to start saying one thing and then mean another thing. Uh, because roles are stupid with Sugi right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, my two different thoughts are that Sugi... So, we know that it takes one round for the abominations to fully materialize. Mm-hmm. And we've got one right in front of Rook. Yeah. So, Sugi wants to stop the battle before it's Rook's turn again. Mm -hmm. And he sort of sees two different ways of doing this. The first way is that if, is if he can jump over the, the clockworks so that only one of them can try to grab him rather than several. Okay. He can go after Rook. Okay. And even if the abomination comes up, he can still be, primarily with Rook. He can be right next to it so it can hit him easily. Got it. Yeah. The other thing that he can do is that if he can hold his turn and have Biff take out enough of the um, clockworks, he can effectively do the same thing but instead of jumping off the clockworks it would be jumping off of biff and just start clocking elias okay hmm. uh oh oh that was a joke guys i made it you made a joke good job you did a pun that's fucking funny i didn't think about it that was terrible well done i'm that's sorry terrible. but i'm not what i am <laughs> I think after everything, I'm going to be a nice DM and say, for that terrible pun that I hate you for, I'm going to give you a point of inspiration because, <laughs> like, in case anything goes fucking drastically wrong, because dear God, the puns. dice have hated Sugi. Um, Stop really rewarding bad. us for puns. We're going to keep doing them. <laughs> This is positive reinforcement. <laughs> this, okay, consider this is fucking Toon Kind D and D. What would the draft house be if not for fu- if not for puns? Yeah. No, this is true. You make a salient point. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, as it is, um, the, yeah, so the two ways that you could be doing this is, uh, yeah, just scrambling over the waiters yourselves, yourself, uh, which I reckon you could have a good go at, but it would mean that they are going to have a go at trying to grab you and, like, grapple you to stop you from going over. Um, mm. The other thing would be if Biff just fucking tossed you that's more people and more roles being made that could mean things potentially go well. But um, if I think, uh, would you be, were you going to just climb up and jump off Biff or was it asking Biff to help throw you? Um, I think it would honestly be just climbing to like Biff's shoulders and then launching himself. Primarily because Sugi is able to do like, two attacks per turn, mm-hmm. but 
that takes up the entirety of his action. So even if he did attack, he'd only be able to at most take out two of the clockworks. So his primary plan, if we go with the Biff route, is to have Biff draw the attention of all the clockworks and have Sugi then leap directly to Rook and attack him. Okay. I reckon, yeah, if you wanted to do that, really, realistically what you should do is hold your turn until after Biff goes and successfully distracts the waiters. All right. Are Since you... I'm not going to... Yes. Yeah. First of all, that sounds great. Second of all, because I'm not rolling, I can go ahead and do the fun little describey thing. Um, we see the healing word land on Sugi's forehead and melt into him and we see Tsugi scrambling back to his feet and we see the same shot that we had before of Tsugi's uh, mouth breathing in and breathing out and it looked very cool because his eyes were completely blocked in shadow and we see a similarity because the camera is framed the same way, but this time we see his eyes, and he is terrified. Oh, no. We see that he's been knocked around, not only by fate, but by everything that's happened. We see a hint, just a hint, not a full tear, but a hint of the tear that Miss Foam saw earlier, sketchy in style, sort of anachronistic with the the inks that he has just gathering at the edges of his eyes and we see that he doesn't know if they can do this oh. and mechanics wise that is why he holds his turn even as i the player have a plan Okay. Realization of mortality, I'm only level three. <laughs> Baby. Oh, okay. Guys, we're only level three. <laughs> you guys can't be funny. I thought about how to phrase this so they incorporated my no, you, you, you no, did, was really you good. did too well, good. Was really of, good. You did too we're good of a clowns. job. Which is why we're interrupting to, like, break the tension. It's like, oh, no, you can't it's, be made to feel like a tension. feeling. Quick, make a joke. It's like, we, 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 we got we to break the tension here. we got to just make a joke and make fun of you because, like, that was gorgeous and, and painful. So, yeah, no, we, we've got to ruin that. That's how this game works. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not actually that chastising we're making you, fun of not, you guys. Just, we're making fun of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Tsugi, it's you're holding true. your turn until after Biff. Yes. Okay. Um, unfortunately, that does mean that Sugi's also not explaining a plan, so, uh, Mach, okay, just fine. please have the same idea that I know what Biff is gonna do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's all I needed. Biff is gonna do what she does best, so. Yeah. Destroy shit. Punch, punch robots. She's been having a good time punching robots so far today. <laughs> Uh, next up is Boffin. I think I'm going to start skimming over the scientist turns a little bit because e even without uh, much in the way of combat spells and everything, they can handle themselves and also they have an absurd amount of health compared to you guys. Good and for them. Compared to the inky abominations. <laughs> <laughs> so Thanks. I think realistically, you've probably got... Um, <laughs> Boff for Boffin's turn, he's going to be rummaging through his pockets and desperately trying to look for any sort of equipment that he could use to hold these things, while Tidbit is just standing there, casting, uh, like, trying to shrink things down or freeze them, just make them stop, making them stop. <laughs> it's like, sir, please, come up with an idea already! Uh, <laughs> and that's kind oh of that. Uh, next up, Frankie, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, Frankie is going to come to she now has seven hit points which is seven times better than zero hooray well, infinite times better <laughs> than zero wow. actually because maths i hate you i'm playing D, D. you think i know how to do maths <laughs> but no no the no. answer is no <laughs> but yeah frankie we're too uh, gay for that sort of shit we're too, too gay, gay for that, that. Uh, yeah she comes to and just sort of almost uh on a reflex uh she is going to cast levitate on herself 
and just sort of rock it upwards about 20 feet and nice. just out of range of everybody else. Like, what? What's going on? <laughs> She's very upset. No. That's not Wiggle you. through the, the bars of the butler bots. No, no, no. What, I, what, I can just, what I'm picturing here is because, again, you've only just been healed by Ms. Foam. Mm. I'm imagining you, like, healing, unfreezing, and then just rising without even actually standing. <laughs> as you start <laughs> yeah, to yeah, basically... she, yeah, yeah, no, 100. No, no, you as know if... what it looks like. You know what it looks like. You know when a, uh, you know when, uh, a cat uh, yes. finds something that startles it and it yeah. like leaps into the it's that it's exactly that <laughs> I was thinking Bethesda glitch but this works too yeah <laughs> he goes and starts spinning around <laughs> <laughs> just god trash no no that's more that's more Dr. Worm territory than Frankie territory <laughs> but yes uh, do I have any more of a go after that is there anything else that uh, I can do that's your action that's and action. technically you can't use your movement when you're in the air no I can't um, do you have something you could push off of yeah I mean push. Well, I you mean, can target to move only by pushing or pulling against a fixed object or surface within reach uh, I mean, can you open your doing? umbrella and cast like gust <laughs> Unfortunately, no, because once again, no oh spells, no combat spells. I fucking hate um, the idea of uh, Frankie turning, doing a Miss Pop- Mary Poppins. Oh, she would be a fantastic Mary Poppins. No, she would be terrible. She would be a horrible Mary, Mary Poppins. Poppins. Do not even she joke. would be great. You- she would be amazing with children. I don't know what you're insinuating. <laughs> Never let this <laughs> this tune near a baby. Gods, please. Children love dead things. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I can't deny that. <laughs> anyway, so you're in the okay, air. Um, can you move? Uh, uh, I can't move. Um, oh, can I take anything out of my hammer space? Or I would say okay. yes. I say ham- pulling stuff from your hammer space is a free action. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and uh, do that. I actually don't really know how it's hammer a space. D10. Uh, hammer space. I I know that it's a D10, but I can't remember like what's the success. If it's anything other than a one, then you get it. Good a news. One. Okay, cool. A two is not a one. Okay, a two. <laughs> Good news. Two is not a one. Yeah. Um. From her hand space, she pulls something that looks like a very small sort of tin of mints, and that's it. That's all I'm going to tell you. For it's the a gun. Yeah, it's a gun. <laughs> a very t- the world's smallest gun. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Only it's the only she lied. She prepared one combat spell, and it's gun. <laughs> at times like this that I'm sad that uh, the item suggestion box for Glorps is currently closed. Yeah. <laughs> Just hold on to that thought. Just hold on to it. Yeah, we'll yeah. save it for later. We That's a secret recording. tool that we'll use that next next arc or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's Frankie's turn. All right. Uh, which means Biff wanted to go. Oh, you, before we do, let me just uh, do something real quick because we're at top of initiative. Uh, all right, Biff, your turn. Hey, I don't know what that means. <laughs> We're what? worried about that dice roll you just made. I look, I look. It was a fourteen. Don't worry about it. Mm. Mark, I don't think I've heard you make that sound in my life before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Biff has her lead pipe. Uh, Biff smash. Biff smash. Biff. Smash. Biff smash. <laughs> uh, I think I can technically only target one of these robots at a time. So technically, yeah, I'll do that. I don't, I, and she's too low a level to get a second attack. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, I've got to wait till later, sadly. Yeah. Still, you can smash. But she's going to hit this thing. Uh, big over the head smash. Uh, yeah. nice. Fifteen hit meets it, beats it. Yes. <laughs> Um, um, I'll tell you right now, you don't technically have to roll damage here, because no matter what you're being destroyed, if you roll really high damage, I may let you destroy two. Alright. Oh. Come Destruction. on, Lalu. Come on, Lalu. Come on, Lalu. <laughs> the mall does 2d6 plus 3. Wait. I can reroll that one. Uh, it's That's a- one of the things. Biff oh, has great no, no, no. You didn't actually write the six. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> You know, sometimes. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's a different kind of D. That's a different. (laughs) Oh, I've earned Oh, solid. That's good then. 11 damage. That is enough that you take out not just one, but two as you uh, swing your lead pipe down. Wait, lead pipe or wrench? 
Uh, this is the lead pipe. The lead pipe is uh, yeah. the so, yeah, flavor for the mall. Yeah, you swing your lead pipe down and you smash it through the body of one of these robots. And while before, considering how you ran into them, you thought that these things were pretty hardy, you were right about that. It took a fair bit of uh, effort to get through like the metal plating on the outside. But as soon as you did, these things fucking disintegrated. That must be some finicky clockwork on the inside. And as Like pieces, butter. Yeah, pretty much. As pieces of Smashed this one... Like butter with a hammer. <laughs> Go flying. <laughs> the momentum from your swing carries through and you bash into the next one in the line. And that goes to like little sand sized gears go scattering everywhere. Damn. Somewhere in the if corner I was of a the different you... character, I might care about the workmanship, but like. <laughs> You are not. <laughs> Somewhere I'm in the not, corner of the right universe, now, so. Appa is now uh, detecting shoddy workmanship. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> I, I have a, a god of clockwork in my head being very grumpy <laughs> at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are they grumpy at you? It should be Biff. <laughs> <laughs> no, also true. Um, can, which ones did you go after? Was it like the center one? Was it one at the edge? Uh, they're just like five in a line. Probably the middle ones because Biff is just going. Just cool. punch a hole. I'm going to say that you took out that. I'm going to say that like, you took out the center one and the one to the left of center. So those two are sure. just fucking gone. All right. Uh, do you have any movement or bonus actions? I mean, I mean, she's. How far back is uh, is Rook? Uh, Rook is one sec. I fucking wrote this down. Um, five clocks only five ten blocking back. Like Rook is probably still another um ten feet in front of you now that you've destroyed these um the two of the waiters. Is going to walk up to him. She's again. It's just a wall coming up at him. Uh, she'll take the attack of opportunity from I. Is it two or three? Of those guys. Good news, they don't actually. Actually, oh well, no, they don't have attack of opportunity as such. They just have like fucking grappling. Uh, so they're that's... here to be obnoxious and in the way. Reaction. Yeah, exactly. So uh, well, they don't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Biff walks up to this little man. Just time to loom ominously, and also give Tsugi advantage on the attack, I think, because you'll have a flanking bonus. Ooh! Fuck oh yeah. my god. Um, <laughs> for now, though, this... Technically, we have to be on opposite sides, so I could say she went up to, like... The left. Whatever. Yeah, so, yeah she's slightly to the left. <laughs> Tsugi, just go kind of to the right, and it's fine. <laughs> Miss Foam, it's your turn. Oh, wasn't Tsugi holding his turn? Oh, yes, yeah, Tsugi! Tsugi yeah, Biff, yeah. Okay, so... Again, allow me to make make you a very small word picture, and then I promise we'll get on with it. Uh, but again, you we we saw the camera shot that mimicked the previous shot, and we see the terror that's on Sugi's face. And then, after Biff sort of like walks up un unspeakingly to Rook, we see the camera pan back to him, and then we see the camera pan back away to see uh, Dr. Boffin and Tidbit frantically trying to find ways to not injure, but successfully incapacitate uh, the abominations. We see uh, Ms. Foam still basically crusted over with frost, yet still flinging healing word at people. We see Frankie sort of like floating up in the air. Um, we have no idea what Sugi thinks about that sort of thing because <laughs> he doesn't crack a joke and we aren't looking at him. And we see the camera pan back to Biff in front of Elias. And then we pan back to Sugi and there's a different look on his face. It doesn't replace the terror. You can still see the lines that are flinching around his eyes. But you see him get up. And I will absolutely take that advantage. 
He's gonna give it to you. <laughs> See, I should have saved giving you the inspiration point for that. Yeah! <laughs> Let's just go. Okay, I will use that inspiration point because the highest I got was a fucking 14 and I'm irritated. <laughs> I mean, this fucker's like the wizard, right? Like, well, it, how high is his AC, really? I mean, like, it's like, I will leave it up to you. Because if, if you, you can use that 14 if you want, or you could use the inspiration point and that means you do get a critical hit. He 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 he. Okay, because I also have a second one tucked into my back pocket, I will go ahead and take the crit. Um, that'll be... Let D... Six plus three, and then double it. Uh, yeah, I, I generally go, uh, roll the twice the amount of damage dice. Oh. So, uh, add, add an extra d6 to that. Yeah, d6... So that'll be Kyo. five 14. plus nine. Oh. Uh, I didn't do that. Right. I will tell you right now, this guy is bloodied. Kill, kill, <laughs> kill, kill. Nice. But it's my right. kill. <laughs> Look, please, please tell me how this punch goes down, because this guy has probably is still only <laughs> half gotten up from kneeling down to from where he uh, was starting up the the new Inky Abomination. So he's like half kneeling, looking up at you, uh, and just like dawning horror on his face as you've got Biff right next to him and Sugi in front of him. Oh no! no. Tell me how this goes down. <laughs> so we see him kneeling from Biff's perspective and we see the moment of dawning realization as he starts looking up and then we see the perspective from him of him looking up at Biff and looking up and up and up and there's a flash of gray and blue at Biff's side and this spear in Tsugi's hand just slices down his back ripping muscle and tearing into him and then Tsugi throws the spear up in the air and I'm going to use my last key point uh to make two unarmed strikes rather than my regular one okay um I would like to like if you want to do this you absolutely can I will say even if you only if you cho choose to not do use your key point and save that for something else and do one strike here, I know what Jay is planning and I will say it will be a fucking Dude, hilarious no, it's, way to honestly, end the fight, it's, it, but also this is so but good. Also this is extremely good, please continue. <laughs> oh, but I want to know what Fra- okay. No, no, you're not, no, you're not saying this. Here's the thing, Sugi doesn't know. Sugi would definitely take, uh, take uh, yes. this shot, wouldn't he? So. <laughs> fucking damn it! Okay. Okay, Jay, do you promise if Sugi accidentally takes this guy out, do you promise that you will later, once again, remember to do oh, whatever you're going to do 100%. at another time? 100%. Okay. And, I, and you know what? I'll tell you specifically, uh, off mic, what it was, and nobody else. <laughs> oh. You are so up. sweet. You are so <laughs> sweet. Okay. Again, Sugi wouldn't have known that something was planned so he will spend the key point and he will nice so that was a 21 and a 25 Woo! The 25 is another crit okay okay Lalu, <laughs> i got you i get it don't get emotional about stuff until it's at the end i hear you um i actually i sorry I think... to ruin a beautiful moment but uh you didn't actually roll that second 20 oh, you did put a d in front of it I, I didn't that no that's that's good thank you for keeping me honest i straight up didn't realize <laughs> that's okay it's still 17 that hits that's still <laughs> still big number big number kill, big kill, kill. Kill, smash, okay. stab, violence, death. Get on. Four plus three. And then a second D four plus three, so that I don't repeat my same mistake twice. That's eleven points of damage. Nice. That that is enough. That is actually enough. Because I told you he was a fucking he's a squishy little magic user. A squishy <laughs> Splat oh. that rat! <laughs> and I 
think it's kind of after you hit him once and you like you stab him through once and it goes down his back and he like yells and stumbles backwards he is now lying like lying on his back one hand sticking up towards you trying to block you as you raise up your spear and stab down the second time and we don't actually see it go into him because the camera artfully cuts away to something else just as the spear lunges down to make contact. And This is a PG-13 show, folks. <laughs> we'll imply things, but we won't show it on screen. And the thing is, he is a toon, so this may not be complete death, because toons work weird. Mm-hmm. However, You know they work weird. However, you already have seen the death of many, many toons in this museum so far, just today, so... Should we go put him in the pit? Put him in the pit. Should we put him in the pit? Put him in the pit! If I'd gotten to him first, he'd be in the pit. (laughs) As it is... Combat is technically over, because once he goes down, uh, the... (laughs) The waiters are still going to be stopping you from trying to get into this section, however they cannot move without further instructions. You've still also got the inky aberrations going about, and this last- and this one, uh, the- the one that Rook created just then is about to spring up and start clawing at people. Oh boy. But they- they- like, this one here and the three back there are all small enough dangers that I am okay with dropping out of combat if you guys want to drop out of combat. I, uh, I personally would like to drop out of combat because I don't want to run the risk of harming them. Yeah. Considering that Doctor Doctor Boffin knows something, even if Sugi somehow did not pick up on what was going on, which is entirely possible because he was, you know, having a little bit of crisis about the fact that maybe everybody around him was going to die. Mm. Not that that bothers him or anything. <laughs> <laughs> So, He's never felt an emotion one a, a single day in his life. Fuck you. <laughs> never. Okay, so yeah, you guys are standing around. Elias is down. Uh, Fr- Frankie's still floating twenty feet in the air. Yeah, but... I was just gonna say. It's just gonna say everyone's standing around. Frankie's not. Frankie's floating. Uh, except Frankie is not because uh, she is going to dispel uh, uh, levitate. And just sort of drift, drift to the ground with, with her umbrella. Um, and, ooh, ooh, I think the first thing that she's going to do, actually, uh, assuming that the uh, fourth abomination has not yet manifested, uh, is to... It's manifesting as you are floating Yeah, down. yeah, okay, that, that's that's fine. Um, to, I want to poke through his pockets to get whatever bottle of inky aberration <laughs> stuff he was using to conjure them. I want that. Gimme. <laughs> oh, I. Who? Okay, probably yeah. fine. I was gonna say. It's totally fine. Uh, like, I do just want to point out. Uh, uh, I, I can't think. Uh, Miss Foam, you were the only one that actually rolled perception high enough to be able to tell. You know that uh, that bottle of stuff that he was using to summon summon Inky Aberration is the distilled whatever that all the various dinner guests guests got dipped in uh Mm -hmm. and you know that what were popping up were those dinner guests or at least whatever the fuck was left of them i mean i I know we figured we figured that out out. didn't we Uh, because i because i I got to roll an arcana check oh yes that is true so So, yeah so i I do know you're just basically taking the like philosopher's stone off him for good reasons yes (laughs) anyone want to stop them (laughs) <laughs> oh no way in hell! Tsugi, Tsugi's still just leering over this guy, and you know, also conveniently refusing to turn around. When you don't, you don't know why he wouldn't turn around. It's not, he's not crying. Shut up! <laughs> Somebody give this boy a hug, please. Can they can try? <laughs> can I have this phone fast shake off the rest of this? Uh, frost, because ouch, ouch, me, me leaf, me bones, <laughs> me, um, leaves. me leaves. <laughs> and also, can I stop this? Um, I'm gonna pitch you this. Mm-hmm. Can Miss Foam walk up to the manifesting aberration that was next to Elias and pull out from her uh, uh, her hammer space a 
um, Beauty and the Beast style glass jar. Yes, yes. <laughs> I was to see if you can contain it in some way. No, no absolutely. Some of those, like bell jars. Yeah, like the huge glass jars. Yep, absolutely. That that is I... perfect. I was gonna say that uh, when the two doctors do actually kind of come up to you, having uh, contain the others, they've actually stuck them like in upside down. At least the one that um, tidbit managed to shrink down. Uh, they've got that in like a little beaker, a little flipped upside down, slipped a piece of card under oh, it. Oh, like it's a spider. Yes, yes! <laughs> the spider thing too. That was hanging out in the house yep. where it doesn't belong. It was like, little piece right, of buddy, paper underneath the upside down beaker with the little guy just... Pretty much. Pretty much. What are the other ones doing? Uh, the other two, I reckon, uh, they didn't have enough spell slots to shrink them all down, so I think they kind of just lured them out enough. Uh, they can't... Oh, hmm. They can't put them back in the pit. I think they're probably no, no. doing a thing because these things move kind of slow. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of like walked around the outside of the pit and the inky abominations followed at a slow pace and then left them on the other side as the two doctors just walked past them to come back. <laughs> oh, video they're game logic they're works. Following, but they're not... I guess if they caught up, they would attack? Yeah, pretty much. But as long as you guys keep moving. <laughs> well, the thing is, we're going to have back for them. Like, we are going to have to do something. We are actually going to have to do something with them. Uh, Why? Because again, there's still like, no, you know, know, presumably some people in there, sort of. We can't just like, you know, leave them. Might be able to yoink their consciousness out. Um, can I get perception checks from everyone, please? Oh yeah, because now that the fight's thing, actually the over, you thing... can have a proper look around this room. <laughs> uh huh. Yay, the thing that I'm really good at. Oh, 16, hooray. <laughs> um, remember, you're enough. a disadvantage. If you're still oh, exhausted, yeah, you're yeah, a disadvantage. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's fair enough. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh, 11, fine, yeah, that's oh. more par for the course. We'll get back to that crit failure later. Oh, boy. You wanted a nat 20. Oh, who crit failed? failure is a secret tool that we'll use later. <laughs> who crit failed? That's not a crit fail, that's the default. No, the no, if you scroll up a little bit, I crit failed on a thing. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh okay. Oh dear. Yeah, so Tsuki is he's definitely not crying, cowering, uh, uh, I mean, uh, ominously posing over Rook, refusing <laughs> to look at anything aside from making sure that he's still down. Yeah, he's flexing. Okay, alright. With that, so basically, uh, no one here got. Oh no! Oh, um, Frankie got an eleven. Yeah. Uh, Biff had a two. Tsugi had yep. a four. Okay, Biff and Tsugi. Yeah, you don't see shit. Um, Frankie. Biff is kind of coming down from it right now. Yeah. 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 Frankie, with that eleven, uh, you are now kind of getting a look around at this place, and this room is a lot more spacious than the rather cramped and cluttered. Uh, alchemy lab that you were in before hmm. uh it's i think i did say very briefly to Ms. Foam before about this place being more uh a workshop this is where all the plans and everything got yeah, made. yeah this yeah. whole place is littered with papers you're having a look around and you can see it is about a 50 50 split between ideas for various clockwork designs and a whole lot of alchemy stuff in a whole lot of code you hmm. recognize a bunch of the symbols from the book that you've been using so far and skimming through because like you've you've gotten yourself acquainted with a couple of them and you're fairly sure you've even seen a couple of the symbols already uh but also there's just so much here this so much stuff a long time to decode there might be some useful things an 11 is not high enough for you no, to be able to find no. it before we go on uh but this point um have i gone through rook's pockets yet because that's what i wanted to do um I will get back to you on that one. Yes, I'm okay. I'm going to give Ms. Foam some information first. Mm -hmm. All right, Ms. Foam, with that nat 20. <laughs> yeah. Um, you instantly know everything about the organizational system of this place. <laughs> I'm not going to give it to you outright because I don't feel like talking about it for ages. But if you ask questions about, hey, is there this or where would I find this? Um, I will give you an immediate answer and I can say you can say that you find it. 
as I said before, there are a lot and lot of lot of lot of things. The most recent thing that you see, because it's like the top piece of paper on one of the desks, it has a quill and ink next to it, and like regular ink, not whatever the fuck that was. Not evil ink. Um, it's it's something that does look reasonably familiar, and it's. Hmm. It's a bit of an odd one because while all the other things that you've been seeing so far seem like specific recipes of combine a bunch of these things and add this uh, product and then you'll get this other thing, uh, this one's a little bit different. And I will be nice and say, I will give you a translation of like, on the very top of it is just this scribbled looking question mark right next to uh, the symbol for, oh god fucking what was it, sulfur? I believe that one's sulfur. Yes. Uh... Yes. So the top one, like, right, so it's a question mark, is sulfur. The tune ink is mercury. And then a list of varying different things, such as actual ink, paint, uh, gun cotton, clay, liquidized crystals, paper, bottled lightning, and a couple of other question marks of this could be a bunch of different things, equals salt. You're not entirely sure what to make for it because you need more than a perception check to be able to decode this little mess. But mm -hmm. it's this seems to be something important if for no other reason than it has the symbol for ink on it. That's upsetting. Yeah. I don't like. I don't like some of the implications of this. The other thing that we will get to is with that 23, uh, Mrs. Foam, and Frankie, as you are basically searching Rook's body, both of you notice a thing. Uh, Ms. Foam, you see it first in, like, the shifting of shadows of something moving around the edges of this room. Frankie, you see it only when these shifting shadows seem to kind of come closer and turn out to be a familiar behatted shape as Lucky Lucky is trying to beat you to that vial. Oh! And that was his crit fail was because he fucked up the sleight of hand real bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't think Biff has fucking seen him yet. I mean, no, I guess Biff... he rolled a one and Biff did roll a two. No, Biff, <laughs> Biff did. No, this was on sleight of hand. His stealth was a 20 that I rolled a fair well, chunk Biff earlier. Know he's here. <laughs> Biff does not know. Uh, Even Sugi doesn't know, and he's literally just guarding the body. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one moment. I'm gonna just like I, we are out of initiative. We are staying out of initiative. However, Lockie is going to try and stab uh Frankie. Oh, cool. Oh, you've okay, obviously cool. spotted him. Yeah, cool. Um, <laughs> what's wrong with class? Uh, good question. Uh, let me. Uh, it's mage armor. Don't yeah. forget. Oh, I do have mage. So it's fourteen. Okay, that is not enough. He tries to stab you, fails. Uh, and then is just going to fucking have another go at roll, like, stealing this thing out of your hand. So oh, please hey! roll either sleight of hand or... Don't I get an opportunity to like stick it in my pocket or anything? Like, <laughs> that seems like two goes in a row. <laughs> no, I'm saying like, please roll as well. This is going to basically just be a contest okay, of um, who the fuck gets to steal it. Uh, sleight you of can hand choose or... either sleight of hand or something strength based. It's up to you. Um, well, no, I've got plus one for both of those, for, so I guess just... <laughs> He's going to have a go. Fifteen. Fifteen versus eighteen. Okay, I'm going to say this is high enough that, Frankie, you definitely made enough that this was not easy. Um, stealth is lost as Lockie is grabbing onto this and tugging and tugging and trying to pry your fingers off and just like, look, if I, get in, if I get nothing else out of this place but this, then I will get this thing. No, this is the one thing you're, you could have stolen literally anything else. This place has taken everything. It is a waste of my time. It is a waste of my money. You nearly killed me. This is mine. And he yanks it out of your hand and Before... is going to start trying to run just out, just out past everyone. Good news is, everyone, you have definitely got a chance at seeing I was, Lucky. I was just going to yeah, say, do um, I, I was just going to say, can I have like uh, any kind of attack of opportunity situation? Because I think I probably I think... still have those... Uh, those natural weapons uh, oh, uh, on fuck, me. Yeah, good. <laughs> oh, are they concentration? Because oh, if you had to do question. concentration for levitation, you would have had to let them go. Good question. Levitation is concentration, and also uh, self I will is... say, even if you don't get an attack of opportunity, Tsugi will. Yeah, it's it, it's concentration. I'm still. Oh yeah. So okay. So I don't I don't have those. I still want to like uh, make an attack roll just to stop Umbrella him. Umbrella attack. Like, I just. Bon I... <laughs> Bonkers of yeah, the gonkers. You know what? Have a go at it. 
Kiss. One D twenty plus. I forget what it is. Uh, it's under your uh, it's combat. Thank you. Everything's so three plus three. Eleven is not enough. No, no. no. Swipe... This is the one thing that Frankie actually would genuinely want. You swipe over his head and knock his hat off, but you do not hit Loki himself, <laughs> and he is legging it out of there. Tsugi, there is another small man in front of you. It is not the one that you just stabbed. Quiet down, small man. <laughs> Oh, I'm using my other inspiration point. For Fuck this. Really. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. A plan. Sugi okay. is still holding his spear. Um, we never see that if it's still in Elias or not. We just never get a good look to see if he's pulled it out uh, or if it's still there. Uh, but uh, Sugi's hand just swipes down and suddenly... Right, uh, pinning Lockie's jacket down to the floor is a dart. And Sugi says, I wouldn't try it. Fuck. <laughs> Would you like for me to roll intimidation? Yes, please. Uh, I have I have no guarantees that this one will go well because I yeah, already used my inspiration. No, point. I was going to say uh, you're you are not at disadvantage here because uh, like even though you would be normally because you're still exhausted. That was really cool. So, so I'm removing that disadvantage for this. Oh, uh, no. I can't save you from a Locky gets oh, Locky gets a peek at Suki's face and sees sees that there are still tears. He's still up crying. In his eyes. <laughs> oh. You really think that, you really think that's gonna be enough, kid? You really think that's gonna be enough? Um, Can I I'm pretty sure that you? darts enough to remind you that no matter what, I could take you out. He still has tears in his eyes. It's still not effective, okay. but he is threatening Lockie. Oh, baby, baby boy. <laughs> okay, one sec. I'm just gonna see if he manages to rip himself free. If he, he does not manage to rip himself free, he's got a very sturdy and good quality coat. I want to take the thing off him. Free. Wait, I was going to say, do either Biff or Ms. Foam want to do anything here? Sorry. <laughs> say something, but I want to let Ms. Foam go first. Uh, I, my, I'm, I'm stepping back. Like, I had something that's now I'm retracting it. I'm stepping back for, Ms. Foam is stepping back for a bit. Like, oh shit. Ms. Foam was like, like Ms. Foam's my, none of my horrible hands are firmly up in the air. Her horrible <laughs> feet are taking three steps back. <laughs> <laughs> She's just watching. She doesn't know what to do. Azuki's pinned him down. She was gonna go get him. But clearly, that has been solved. Now she's just gonna sit there and watch. Pulls out some popcorn. <laughs> I want. I want you to know this is not like in a, any kind of relishing or like, haha, look at these clowns running around. She's just confused. She spent so long just watching people. This do ain't things. none of my this business. Is what she does. Yeah. Yeah. Not my monkeys, not my circus, and yeah. we can respect that. Yeah, we love Ms. Foam. Uh, but yeah, Biff, uh, you get one chance to do something before uh, Loki is about to do something else stupid. Um. Yep. Uh, so Biff kind of like, I guess I can't say she blinks because you don't see that. Her eyes are, you know. Small on her head. Consider, um, consider her eyes might have gone all big and wide when she realized that Lucky was there. Fair, fair point. Fuck! Don't make this hurt me! This is supposed to be hijinks! <laughs> Did you miss the high angst warning on my on the scheduling announcement? <laughs> no, but... Uh, and she... But yeah, she kind of snaps out of it and... A uh, big smile comes across her face and she goes, Loki, you're okay. Hey, buddy. Uh, and she's gonna, like, start walking over to him. He probably could have a chance to react. Um, Ooh, roll me insight. Roll me insight. Yeah. <laughs> and no, you do I'm not have advantage. Sure that's the number I think it is. Damn it! I want to know! Three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't see anything. Loki. Okay, oh, okay. Three. Let me go. It's a three. Mm. You can give me nothing. Yeah, no, I was gonna say I, I, I gotta. I think the best way for me to do technically this... that should have been a disadvantage, actually. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get much worse than a three, though. I think. 
Theoretically possible. <laughs> Theoretically possible, but alright. As it is, I think uh, you don't get anything off him. You are too busy just glad that he's here again for you to take any notice of how he might be feeling or acting. Um, and the thing, I mean, the thing that she does, unless he wants to do something first, is she is going to um, pick him up off the ground, probably finally dislodging that dart, hey! uh, and give him a hug. Aww. He's going to let this happen because you got him free. <laughs> He's going to like, hey, Biff, no hard feelings about everything before, right? Good to see you again. Oh no. Hey, boy. <laughs> She's, you know. She pro I mean, she is just gonna set him back down. No, no! <laughs> he does not immediately sprint out of there. He stands around. He's still got the vial of stuff. He is keeping a very tight grip on it. So he's just like, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like, so, well, seeing as it's looking like we're not gonna be getting paid, gestures towards, uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just towards oh, Rook lying so? on the ground. So the thing is, like, <laughs> reckon, reckon it's only fair, considering everything that happened, if uh, we're making sure we're getting a, de a decent benefits package here. Sugi yeah. sighs yeah. long and hard, and you can see the sheer hatred on his face that's surprisingly not directed towards Loki. It's directed towards his own dang hands as he sheaths his spear. Yes, I'm sorry, it is his, in his pants. <laughs> we have returned. We have returned to normalcy. <laughs> but he rolls... And he rolls, and he rolls, and you guessed it, he rolls. <laughs> what All two items have space you pulled? Rolls? No, 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 no. Oh, you're at disadvantage. Because it is a disadvantage. <laughs> Fuck. Just roll okay, forty ten. He's gonna roll double one more time because three is a good number. <laughs> I was gonna say just roll four d ten or three d ten, however many. <laughs> Okay. He astonishingly gets all of them correct. And he pulls out a box of big silver cogs. He pulls out a box of small golden cogs. And he pulls out six golden leaves. And he says, give Frankie back the bottle and nobody else lays hands on these but you those are people there is kind of a glimmer of greed in his eyes as he's looking at all the various shinies that you've pulled out and just Oh yeah, I get what you're saying, but we don't really want this falling into the wrong hands, do we? And he's just glaring at Frankie. And I mean, come on, kid. You know what I mean how it is with her, right? You know, surprisingly, I don't. And Sugi picks up the box of small golden cogs and starts putting it back in his hammer space. You see Loki's grip tighten on the vial. God fucking damn it! I don't know how to break this. No, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking because uh, the uh, the original thing that I was going to do was something similar, uh, similarly uh, along the lines, uh, uh, along those lines. Um, you know what? If uh, he is distracted, can I try like? going for it again. 
you are, but he, you are still at disadvantage because oh, of the fucking yeah. exhaustion. No, 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 <laughs> fair enough. No, 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 that's, that, that is, uh, that is honestly completely fair. You are welcome to have a go at it, though. No, no, because, um, honestly, I think, uh, anything actually aggressive is more likely to get him to run away, uh, than anything else. As Fuck, do to- you think the boss is gonna be mad at us? <laughs> You know what? I reckon once we get out of this place, let's just burn the whole thing down. Say someone dropped a candle. No one <laughs> ever know, yeah? <laughs> Wash our hands of this whole place. Mm. Tempting as that is, I do think there is actual justice to be meted out here, including, yes, as Sugi correctly pointed out, the people who are living or well, not living, who are contained within that bottle there. You will not be able to sell that. It is of value to nobody except myself, frankly. And I do not have a lot of money. Unf- uh, now, as as it appears, Sugi does have a lot of money. I am also willing to allow you to just rob this place blind, if you like. Just Give me that. Thing is, princess. That ain't just about the money. Now, I mean, yes, it is just about the money. But it ain't just about the money. Because I got a little look at all the different things that this could do. And I was paying attention to all the odds and ends that we've been picking up about this place. Did you miss the part where it was made out of living beings? No. Just don't care. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, okay. It's like that then, is it? All right, go ahead. All right. That, that's it. We're, we're good. We're happy with it. All no, right. give it here! And she is going to, like, actively <laughs> attack him. Okay, yep. Uh, fucking roll. Roll to attack I've him. used up all of my spell slots. <laughs> Are we just, just with your fucking umbrella, I guess. Yeah, d20 plus hand. three. Six. Oh, whiff! Fuck absolute whiff okay this, um, I was um say. can i can i do one thing depends on the thing i know it will be very bad but sugi has also just used up all of his self control by taking the goodies that he got and offering them for a bunch of souls can i roll to throw a dart at the glass Ooh. Ooh! You can. Uh, you've got... Alright, I'm gonna tell you right now, you are going to need to roll higher than an 18, because this thing is small. Go for it, do it, do it. Try it, try it, try it. I have to at least try, because... <laughs> he's... He's not doing so hot! He's not doing so hot on the self-control department, you guys! Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a 15. Ah. That just hit Locky, or does hit it him in the face? Yes. I was gonna say it goes. Uh, it, it jabs him in the arm. He's still got a control of it, but as it he slices open through his jacket, he goes, "Ah, you know what? Just for that kid." Um, and he's going to scramble up a chair and then onto the table, and then pull one of the many various levers that are around this place. Oh, for goodness sake! Because <laughs> uh, guess what? Lock, if this is another fucking pit, I'm going to scream. <laughs> Rule of threes, baby. No, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I'm pit. so angry. He's in the pit. Sookie's in the pit. <laughs> Shit. Um, Ms. Foam, you have this. I'm going to let you completely choose here if you want to not be in the pit. Because with the super high perception check that you rolled earlier, I will let you go. I will let you say, ah, yes, there's more levers around here. Hmm, that one doesn't seem to be connected up towards the rest of the house like many of the other ones. Hey, the floor here kind of feels a little bit off like everything else. It is your choice whether you've moved out of the way of the pit or not. <laughs> Please move out of the way of the pit so that we have someone to throw a rope down to us. <laughs> yeah, she. I feel like it would be great if she was just like on the edge of the where the floor feels unfirm and then just like more solid ground. <laughs> just, just sitting there. 
<laughs> no. On the same side or on the opposite side of uh, where Loki is? On the on the same side of Loki. Yes. Yeah, so what what I love is just this image of like Loki pulling the lever, and this film going hmm, step like feet come up, steps to the side, floor opens up, everything else, everyone else falls. Can I not roll decks to try and <laughs> I, like? I uh... will say uh, <laughs> the, the the two doctors are actually still out in the other room. I was so wondering about, about that. that too. It's still running around the other abominations. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Taking them for a nice walk seat. Yeah, exactly. yeah, surrounding them up, it's fine. Yeah, I Can don't I roll them. Dex to like try and uh, not fall in the pit? Uh, yeah, Dex saving throw. I'm gonna say it's gonna be pretty high DC. Uh, yeah, I'm still gonna try. Can um. I refuse to have Tsugi roll Dex, but successfully scoop all of the things Thanks. back into his hammer space so they don't get damaged by the acid? <laughs> y- you know what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh god, 15. He had his shot! Okay, Frankie, you do not f- avoid falling into the pit completely. Mm. Uh, however, you do have a, gri- a grip on the sides. So you don't fall the- all the way down, but you are hanging by your fingertips. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, Biff, with that five, I'm, I'm, enjoy pit number three. I'm sorry. Enjoy pit yeah. number three, Biff! <laughs> Be like that. You know, it's not the worst day Biff has had, but it's on the list. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's getting up there. Every little bad thing that happens just inches it up a little bit higher. A little bit higher. <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, and then I think this could have just been one moment of Loki after coming back down, peering over the edge of the pit and going like, Sayonara, suckers. And hey, Biff, I'll say hi to your sister for you. And then he's he's just out of there. He is just going to be leaving unless uh, Ms. Foam feels like stopping him. <laughs> Do you still have another slot of entangle? <laughs> uh, I, uh, I uh, really wish I did. Ah! But would Level you do this? Three. Oh, I Level think she three. would try this. I think she would try this. You know, fuck it. As soon as the little fucker starts running, um, Miss F- Miss Foam is going to spend her um her final wild shape form. Ooh! Ooh. Uh, and wild shape into a panther. Oh! Nice. <laughs> she is Kimmy. so deadly still as she watches him. As soon as he starts moving, the form doesn't move, but it's, it's like something bursts from a cocoon as the sort of moss like body just cracks open and a oh fucking God. entangled half alive, half moss, half vines and woods, Panther just comes fucking shooting out and starts running at him at 50 foot like movement speed. This is the Holy best shit. thing I've ever heard! <laughs> See, now the thing is, I was completely expecting it, like, when I had this plan, I was expecting it to be Tsugi, um, to be chasing Loki down because Tsugi is the fastest. This, however, is a fucking delight! Tsugi's in the pit! Yeah. So- I I, fu- I fully concede uh this. Yeah. Let Ms. Fim foam Fim. go. Fim. Shut up! Let's You're go. so bad. Fim. <laughs> okay. As yeah. Uh yeah, you can just pounce on him. You can just fucking pin him down. I think he's gonna I reckon it's gonna be a little bit of a chase because we've gotta do this nice dramatic action scene, um, and we are going to ignore the mechanics of D D for the sake of making something cinematic here. Yeah, yeah. I mean I will yeah. say in his uh fuck. In his toolbox, he does have uh expeditious retreat. That, mm-hmm. Yep, that is true. That is true. So I think, yeah, he's gonna get the fuck out of there using utilizing expeditious mm-hmm. retreat and like the run action, and, like the dash action, and anything else that he can to get the fuck out of there while Ms. Foam comes bounding behind uh, and chasing afterwards. They dash around past the doctors, knocking over the doctors, like and letting the uh, inky abomination, the two inky abominations that are still going around, almost catch up to them. You are racing up the staircase. Loki is starting to have difficulty though because he is small and these stairs go on for yeah. a while. And it is once you are, you are only about two turns up the spiraling staircase before Ms. Foam, you catch up to him. What do you want to do? I don't know. She wants the jar out of his grasp. Uh... 
I mean, you could do like Sugi was going to do and just smash the thing. That might take a okay, bite out of his but, arm. But also, Miss Foam. It. Okay, so here's the thing Miss Foam is also closer to the drop zone if she does smash it. Sugi was specifically doing that because uh, there was enough of space. Oh, between yeah, it yeah, no, that, that's true. That that's true. Jump back. Sugi was angry and thinking less, but he was not completely unthinking. <laughs> mm -hmm. For no, yeah, her intention is just to get out of his grasp, but not to break it. Um, Bite his and... arm. Bite his arm and make him let it, uh, make him let it go. Yeah, good thing he hasn't put it into his hammer space yet. But by the one that Sugi already shot at. I don't know, because she doesn't want... She... Mm. You can't just run to attack where, and call it a Is this in, like, the sort of main hall area? Uh, no, you're still actually on the spiraling staircase because this thing goes on for a while. You wouldn't have managed to oh, get up shit. to okay. the main area. Uh, but yeah, you are on the staircase. I can say that you have managed to knock him over, uh, if you want. I don't... Yeah, I don't know if she can. I don't know if she has like, not like control, but I don't know if she has the sort of finesse enough just to swipe it out without it accidentally like hitting, uh, big panther claws. Yeah, you can hit him. It's without fine. It Fucking lucky. So it. I can I can do a attack. I guess, but it's the 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 intent is just to get out of his hands, but there could be consequences either way. Yep. Yeah. Okay, roll to attack, because that's going to be the easiest way to frame this. Um, and okay. then we will see what happens. Uh, da -da -da -da, that's the attack. 13. 13. That isn't actually quite high enough also, to get... Also, yep. I'm sorry, I just realised he's prone. Uh, oh, you have advantage. Technically, she has advantage on the yeah. attack holds. Fair enough. Thank God. Because <laughs> I'm being nice and just saying, ah, yes, you knocked him prone without you needing to roll for shit because you're giant and he's tiny. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it makes more sense well, this yeah. way. Ugh. No! no! Still, a 13 is one shy of hitting his armor class. So I think what happens is as you are bite, about to bite down on where you think his arm is, he quickly swaps his arm back in and leaves his sleeve and you uh, <laughs> bite only jacket as he quickly uh, wrangles himself out of this and continues the sprint up the stairs, looking even more frantic and slipping that thing into his hammer space because, oh gods, these F. people are still after him and he's got to get away. While this is going on, um, Pit Gang, good news, no acid. <laughs> Oh ah. my god, I thought you were straight up g just gonna have us be dipped, and I was like, well, okay, with, with, you know, eight hit points, I guess we'll be fine. <laughs> oh, good news, uh, the, uh, the other good news is this pit is shallower than the others, it's a fair bit wider as well, it only seems to be 50 feet deep instead of the 100 feet that, like, like the other pits have been. Uh, Frankie, was that, what was that 19 It was for? a strength to try and pull myself out of the pit from where I've been hanging okay. onto it. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think you've, yes. been, you've been hanging there for a while, your arms are sore and you are a weak little lizard. Yes! <laughs> but you do finally <laughs> manage to pull yourself up. Oh, okay, with uh, a absolutely, like, uh, from her perspective, godlike amount of self-control, uh, she is going to turn back around and be like, you're not dead, right? No acid? Everything okay down there? <laughs> It was only for Lucky and only because he was threatening. All the items are mine. Good. I'm oh good. I'm glad that you're fine. Biff, are you, darling, are you okay? Uh, yeah. You can get you. You can get the two of you out. Yes. Well, I don't know if I could jump. Okay, can I keep by? And then she's just going to leave immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Frankie, you're horrid. She's. I mean, <laughs> she's the thing. She's known these people, unfortunately, for one evening. Oh. This this thing is... She is much more interested in this. Um, yeah. Maybe so she I is... should be more worried about Frankie's reaction than I have been. <laughs> and unfortunately, she is going to go chasing after Lucky. Um, and uh, where Miss Foam has gone. Um, Damn, good luck. They're on like a fucking high-speed chase. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> these are the things... 
I am perfectly aware of this. I am perfectly aware that Frankie does not does not have uh, expeditious retreat. I don't think. Um, and uh, the she has very does not have good con stats. She's going to try anyway. Actually, you know what? I just realized what else would be going into the pit. What? Uh, what? First up, the. Uh, three robot waiters. Actually, I think probably only one of the robot waiters a little left. The other two are far enough to the side. Uh, as soon as that hits the bottom of splinters, the other thing that falls into pit is going to be the inky abomination that you put a giant glass jar over. Oh yay! <laughs> <laughs> and the jar Wait. shatters. Just, to, just shatters? to okay. No, no, no. The way it happens is the the door falls down while Frankie is talking. The jar is still over the thing, and then as soon as Frankie leaves, out of nothing, <laughs> it shatters into a, bl- a billion bits. <laughs> yes! yes. yes. So when she knocks it in yes. on her way out, her tail swooshes around, she knocks it in. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, very and good. Falls in, so congratulations. That was nothing of consequence. No, yeah, no. Congratulations, Pit Gang. Um, you, you, you've got an inky abomination down there with you now. <laughs> When you say pit gang, you really just talk about me and Sugi, right? Like... Yeah, look, yeah. If, there's if there's anyone currently in a pit, you are the pit gang. You're the pit gang. Hey, yo. <laughs> Back at it, a pit crew yet again. <laughs> okay, uh, do you want to do anything, or are you just going to try and keep this thing away from you by walking in circles? <laughs> God, that's so funny. The thing is, he gave them a ten feet speed. Just go, just just walk, just just power walk around the edge. (laughs) Yeah, the thing is, Sugi remembers that Boffin said not to hurt them, and they're so slow. And it would be such a good gag just to walk around. (laughs) Like, oi, because here's the thing: if above, if like presumably, like if. Other furniture and stuff has gone into the pit or, or whatever. There's probably a chair in there. It, or something. If like a, there's any other furniture and stuff, you can sort of walk slowly in circles and try to slowly build yourself sort of a stack and sort of like <laughs> climb out. Because here's the thing, oh I've also God. just remembered that like, uh, do do any of us have like adventure kits or anything like that? Yeah. Or like dungeoneering kits? Because like in that, there's there's, ro- there's uh, pit- pitons, <laughs> pythons, whatever. Little yeah. things that you stick in the wall to like climb things yeah so like you could theoretically uh like you know uh climb on top of some junk and then stick the things in the wall and climb and just sort of abseil out (laughs) whilst like this thing is slowly walking in circles which i think is extremely funny okay yeah uh snail uh says that sugi has uh is it pitons or pythons not sure. No clue. The, th- the I think pythons is funnier because it sounds like Python, but python. I have I have no clue I let's, let's go pythons, and if it's not right, well then uh, we're only angering people that I don't particularly care about. The so things hey. you stick in the wall to climb. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Okay. So Sugi, Sugi, I reckon you could probably start like climbing your way out very slowly. Uh, please make me um and well, I'll be nice and say acrobatics to slowly climb your way out all right Biff, i will i don't know if you are lightweight enough to climb out that same way i Possible. will mention though that sugi does at least leave the pythons behind he's trying to give uh biff the way out uh but he does do some little flippy flips you are a disadvantage he... I I'm am sorry. a disadvantage. I'm really sorry. No, 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 no. Bef- before I admit, I did get a little bit frustrated. Now this is just hijinks. Yeah. Now, now, <laughs> still a now I'm rolling the same Dice exact number you twice in a row. Yeah. Okay, Lalu, I get it. <laughs> Dice Passer is apologizing for all the bullshit of the last couple of sessions. <laughs> I'm not sure if I forgive you, but keep acting like this, and you'll and we'll we'll be decent. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Tsugi, you can start arduously clawing your way out of this pit. Uh, Biff, enjoy walking in circles until Tsugi throws a rope down at you, I guess. <laughs> okay, yep. but to be fair, as as we're inevitably moving on to the next scene, Tsugi is not actually running after them, in spite of the fact that he has a decent running speed, because Biff is still in the pit. If the pythons don't work, he'll work on rope. He's not leaving Biff in the pit. With an abomination, um, and and so they'll be the abomination patched. wasn't there. Probably it's fine. <laughs> L- listen, abomination in the non-acid pit is just a safe containment 
t containment area. Oh yeah, you could sort of like herd them in there. <laughs> we could. Okay, okay, petition to have that be what uh, Tsugi and Biff are doing with Dr. Weird and Boffin while we get back to the dramatic stuff. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna stuff. say, no, you, yeah, you, I was gonna say, uh, like, it, do you want me to roll or can we just do the equivalent of like a take 10? I, I think we can do the, the equivalent of a take 10, though I will actually say, uh, yeah, I do want to, I do want you to give that, pose that whole conundrum to the two doctors and so we can also check up on what they're doing. Before we get to that, though, uh, and before we head back to Ms. Foam and Tsugi, Hey, Biff, you doing all right? Oh, yeah, hey, Biff, how are you? <laughs> well, I'm in a pit, so that's not great. Anything else? <laughs> uh, I mean, L Loki just ran away. That's, not, that's also not great. I'm sure he had a good reason. If I'm going to fucking cry. Cool. I hate this. We'll get back to you later. Uh, <laughs> Ms. Foam, Loki has, is still sprinting up these stairs. You are still faster than him. Uh, actually, wait, do you have Expeditious Retreat? I do not, because I was about to do some math, and can I ask, is Loki a, a rogue? Yes. Doesn't he have uh, Uncanny Action? I think, uh, let me double check, because again, you are uncanny only level, dodge, right? Like, you are only level uh, that three. That technically doesn't matter, because uncanny dodge is... Yeah, not uh, yeah. Dodge. So like the, yeah, no, the... he's got he's got cunning action, so yeah, yes. dash is a bonus action, so he can take... He can... Like, but he's only dashing as a bonus action because of the expedition retreat. Yeah, okay. So he can do other stuff on top of that. But he can still do, like, movement... Plus bonus action, like, mm -hmm. plus uh, taking the dash action as his action, gets him up to 90 feet around. I was going to say, oh, he's faster. Actually, no, he's not, because Miss Foam has 50 foot movement speed and then can, as action, could also dash, so that would be 100. <laughs> yeah, so again, it is fucking close, and he's going to get a fair way before you catch up to him again. It's a lucky this staircase is so fucking long. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely not just because I needed to make room for the hundred foot pits I dropped you down in the first episode. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Chill, chill. Thanks. Uh, but yeah, okay, you can catch up. I think, again, for the sake of drama, by the time you catch up to him, you're both pretty fucking tired. But because you've just been going so fast, you have been going so fast, I think what happens is you get him just as he is getting up uh, to the main atrium again, and you are once again surrounded by the various automatons, and they're doing their various things up in the beautiful atrium with the stunning chandelier. As this little gremlin of a man goes sprinting for the doors, <laughs> <laughs> and Ms. Foam in panther form leaps after him. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> the fucker! <laughs> oh God, is it? Is this it? Is he just running for the doors? Yeah, he's just running for the doors. He's just trying to get out of there. I will note he does have the um, the the ink in his pocket now, in his hammer space now. So, mm -hmm. all you got, you just you just gotta grab him, man. You just, just, get you just gotta. <laughs> or no, I, 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 I well, hang on. I'm not. I'm not Ms. Foam. You could do whatever you like, but mm. I would literally just grab him and By put him in your mouth and carry him until he apologizes for his sins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that would be a balance. Uh, for a grapple. Yeah, it could be a grapple. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, going prone doesn't affect grapples really. I think, mm. as I check, not. I don't believe they do. No, it only ex uh, affects speed, which is helpful in case he escapes. Um, yeah. Uh, so if. Miss Foam runs in a 20 foot straight line towards the creature and then hits it with a claw attack on the same turn. Target must make a DC 12 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Oh, so shit, yeah, let's is going do to that. Attack. He's got a negative one to that, so. Uh... He's. <laughs> he is knocked across the floor as he just misses that saving throw. Excellent. Yeah. You are now on the floor. Uh, again, her goal isn't to maim this uh, hard little man but uh, <laughs> she does want to grapple him so let's go contested uh checks uh i can i guess yeah i can do a dex for this can't i 
yeah, yeah. dex or strength, and I have to do dex uh, strength because okay. I'm initiating it. That's just a. Oh wait, it's uh just a dex. It's not. Is it a dex saving throw? I always fucking no. It's uh, uh, it's dex. either it's acrobatics or athletics. Ah oh, well, acrobatics it is because fuck mm-hmm. athletics, fuck anything that needs strength. That's a crit fail from this man. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yes. Lock yes. Not going yes. Well. Yes. And she thinking. has grappled this man, which is, as Snell rightfully said, grabbing the man by the back of his collar yeah. in a grapple. Excellent. In her mouth. Excellent. He's oh, flailing around, desperately trying to get out and not getting anywhere. <laughs> He's lost his hat. He has lost his jacket. He is a wreck. <laughs> He's a hell of a man. And you know that he can't take off anything else because that would be nude and the censors would get him even no, 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 worse no. than this no, party. He would. can still lose his uh, shirt and pants and shoes because he's got like a vest, like a grubby white vest and heart boxes underneath. <laughs> Damn it! Always. <laughs> I knew he was a nudist. Oh my god. <laughs> I think wearing hot shit, like wearing a vest and boxes, means he's explicitly not a nudist. <laughs> it's a nudist in tune kind, because the censors won't get you, but you can still walk around like that and make people look at you. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I, I mean, just, you I'm will so be sorry. I'm full of jokes. <laughs> okay, Miss Foam, what do you want to do with the horrid man? Shake him. Just shake like him upside down. Like down. Like <laughs> the roll on on this yeah. one's shoulder. I was gonna say shake him upside down till everything falls out of his pockets. Yeah, like we were planning on doing with Sugi. No, that's too funny though. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Can I do that? Yes. <laughs> yes. Please. Okay. What the fuck would you even roll for this? Uh, Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell, just, just roll me a straight d twenty. Just roll me a okay. straight d twenty. Please. Uh, please, Lalu, please. Oh, oh no! no! Shakes him <laughs> in his shirt like is still in her mouth, but he goes flying out. No, I was, no. Yeah, I was gonna say. You're like fl- fling him through the door. I was gonna say his shirt accidentally rips as you're giving him a shake, and he goes splat against the door. And I'm just gonna quickly uh roll to see a fucking roll con save here to see if he pulls himself together enough to do anything that's a 15 that is enough to try for the handles but uh so i think he's gonna be shoving against these doors with all his might trying to get them open but the thing is even though you've beaten the baddie currently the doors are still locked oh shit also we have previously established this man is too short to reach door handles (laughs) I don't know, he could do like a backflip and try and open it like Mario 64 style. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, here we'll, we'll, we'll try doing that. Um, that's a fall, that's, that's a crit a fail, so he falls flat oh on his my face. God. Does he knock himself so out? Parser says, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> Nobody gets Finally anything done. The right people, though. Not Sugi, who's horrible and bastard and yeah. kind of does. Uh... <laughs> As this comedy of errors is going on, uh, Tsugi, do you want to go say hi to the doctors? <laughs> Uh, also, actually, wait a minute. Frankie, what are you doing? I mean, I was like, <laughs> probably still walking up the stairs, right? Yeah, okay, we'll get back <laughs> no, to I mean, you later. Like, I don't know. I, I genuinely, I'm not sure. Like, how long would it take me to get up? Uh, are you walking or running? I mean, uh, we did uh, establish as a joke in the uh, first one that Frankie was totally fine going up the, the stairs from the original pit. Okay. <laughs> because... Calisthenics or whatever true, the hell. True. I will say you are not too far behind Miss Foam no. and Lockie then, uh, but you're speed, not. Speed is just regular. Yeah, yeah. She, she is. She is like. Uh, uh, wait, do you have expeditious retreat? Uh, I don't think so. Because um, you're Frankenelli. Yeah, because I'm a Frankenelli. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so I'll in speak that case... with animals, which is so useful. No. Um. So I'm... I can't. No. 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 Listen, I use speak with animals so much when I play Frankenelli. I cannot wait for it to come up. <laughs> yeah. So I think we'll have like because you can only go like a maximum of sixty feet even when you're running. Mm. Uh. It's still going to be a little while before you catch up to them at the top. So, okay, yeah. uh, Tsugi. <laughs> okay, the first question is, did we get Biff out of the pit? Because I'm not pulling more abominations into the pit without <laughs> Biff out of the pit. All right, how are you pulling Biff out of the pit? 
Just does the pylon plan not work? Did they shatter immediately? Uh, I mean, you can, you can I mean like the thing is the things you were tying before you were before you were tying it, gonna tie it around the door. However, um, I'm gonna say in the in the room that of the current pit that Biff is stuck in, there are various pipes and everything you could probably tie the rope around. So uh, I will allow you to take ten, and Biff, you could just climb out of the pit if you hey, want. Hey, we're back at it again. <laughs> Did uh, you pick on, wa- up the pythons while while you were coming up? I think this uh, is like a single use thing because pulling them out is really difficult. Yeah, the whole point is you can't pull them out so they don't fall out when you're trying to climb with them. Plus, like yeah. Yeah, leaning but, down yeah, to get the ones that you have. They are all on. like some of them are bent in half and like. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say one of them is like hanging on ask, by a thread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, poor Biff, poor Biff, <laughs> poor Tsuki. It's a you got more of those, right? I mean, like. Two. I'll replenish them. It's fine. <laughs> Sugi, Sugi sort of just like waves it off as uh, he walks towards the door. Hey, science really... nerds, we have an idea. Oh, I oh. really want to imagine the two of them are like doing laps around this lab, like uh, like suburban moms, yeah. like walking out in the <laughs> yeah, pretty much they're, like they... on the street or whatever. They've started the getting and in... they're just like, you know arms up like <laughs> they've started getting into some very intense discussions about various things that they need to be trying at work next because like <laughs> they've had some enlightening revelations and like, ideas for this place so really they need to be experimenting with doing this with those next spell sort of things they're just continuing circling around the thing <laughs> at uh-huh. 10 feet per second <laughs> Or per round. Um, I'm imagining Sugi and Biff just kind of join them like like speed walking or whatever yeah, yeah pretty much <laughs> It's, it's I getting... need you to understand that Sugi is not doing the suburban shuffle, but doing like the anime pretty boy walk that's way faster than it should be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's getting Hands a... are in his pockets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's Leaving getting back. a little bit awkward to continue walking around. You're kind of in a group of two and then two because there's not actually that much space around the outsides of the pit. But yeah, Amazing. you can go walk. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, an idea? Yeah, so... um. There's no need to go after, uh, go over why, but there is a third pit and it's not filled with acid. So I understand the plan with this room was don't put them in the acid because, you know, pain and suffering in addition to the pain and suffering that they're already dealing with. I mean, who, who isn't dying all the time, right? Uh, but <laughs> yeah, go on, the Susan. other pit doesn't have acid. So if we de- we could just like shepherd them in there, they'd be safely contained until Frankie and the others come back. Like, what is this, is this place in pits? <laughs> no, right. This is, like, this is, well, I mean, I suppose, yes, it is a plan. Um, do we have any way to actually push them in or we, because otherwise we'll wind up circling like this again, I guess? I'm oh, I do have this you. one, though. And uh, Tidbit just pulls out the little one that he's still got <laughs> shrunken down. <laughs> Cute. I mean, let me ask, uh, not to be rude, uh, and he sort of, like, throws that back over its shoulder at the abominations. He's like, are they still, like, smart? Or, like, if we all just cluster around the back end before they can come, will they just fall in the pit like lemmings? I would say is that they do have some intelligence. Uh, not exactly heaps. Uh, they, they, they are not the smartest ink blots on the block. Uh, <laughs> But, ha ha ha, funny one, human. Yes, but uh, they are at least not very strong. So, well, I don't suppose either of you have a nice big stick? <laughs> poke him I over mean, the edge! Poke, poke! Hey, Biff still has the fucking maul. <laughs> hey, yes. Biff. Hey, Biff. I know, I yeah. know you like crunching things. But have you tried poking things? You know, I haven't had much of a career in poking. <laughs> Please let that be the freeze frame with which we go back to Blakey. Yep. And or uh, Ms. Foam. Yep, okay, Ms. Foam, uh, you have Lockie's rather gross tasting shirt in your mouth. <laughs> uh, Switch it out. The first action, switch it out. 
<laughs> Loki has abandoned trying to open the door and is heading back towards the window to see, like, one of the windows to see if he can maybe break one of those open. Uh, and when You're that... not trapped in... Can I... I do something again? Yes, please. Can I note... Uh, a, a, a little note, I don't have an image as I'm speaking, but the sort of designs of Miss Foams' wild shape is that there's always a hollow part. Mm-hmm. And she's done it before with the lizard. Um, she's got a little hammer space. <laughs> yep. Can she get out a brick for Loki? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh? <laughs> you know, go. Do your thing. You want to get out? Do it. <laughs> Wait, you just hand, you, you're just handing him this brick. Like, it dispenses like a fucking uh, vending machine. Why are you <laughs> arming <laughs> him? <laughs> Because it's funny. <laughs> Next know, question. I don't get you, weird mossy blob thing. Really don't get you, but uh, thanks. And yeah, he, he just is, sits there and watches. He is just gonna very slowly reach over for the brick, and then go to <laughs> lob it at the window, and thunk, it bounces off the magical wards because this whole place is still in Hits lockdown. It in the head. Does it hit him on the head again? Please, 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 please. Uh, with please, a 22 please. dex throw, no. Boo! <laughs> oh, boo! He's learned from the last three times yeah. that's happened. <laughs> he, ducks, he ducks out of the way before it. <laughs> well, that's not gonna work. Do you mind if I just, like, uh, wanna try a thing real quick? And, uh, the, uh that's a three. He is going to pull the vial of ink out of his pocket real quick. And he's going to do put a drop on the floor. He is expecting an inky abomination to arise. Ms. Foam, do you do anything as he is doing this? Can I just, the like, fuck bat- up! Yeah, can I just bat it out of his hands? Uh, Ooh, make, me, yeah, make me an attack roll. <laughs> Before or after he's opened it. Uh, like, as soon as she saw it, she would swing for it, but whenever Kai would allow me to make the hit, she's gonna I make say, the hit. Okay, I'm gonna say, you probably get it um, as soon as, like, he starts twisting, because you don't fully see what he has in his hands at first, because it's only small. Uh, but mm-hmm. as soon as he kind of like, lifts the lid off, you get a glimpse at it. Cool. That's a 20? Yep. That what? hits. This Smack. thing goes rolling across the floor, this deep, deep, weirdly coloured, shimmering ink like splattering across as no- as it is knocked out of Loki's hand and that single drop that Loki was ready with on- falls onto the floor and the splatter and nothing happens it's just oh, no. this dark splatter of ink across the floor and it does feel wrong to look at both of you still being tunes have this little pit of dread in the core of your stomach as you look at this and it does like shift a little bit but it's stuff that is shifting in the way that any sort of thick viscous fluid would shift not something is arising from this I... <sighs> and i think this is the point where Frankie should be, it should come up the stairs. Yeah. Hey, Frankie! <laughs> hey, can I get a con saving throw real quick? Oh, you're the worst! <laughs> Realistically, I should have done this for, uh, actually, no, I didn't do it for Ms. Foam, because Ms. Foam had the extra speed. Uh, Frankie, however, would have spent more time hiking up the stairs. 13! That's high enough, you're good. Hooray! So, I'm not, uh, I'm fine, I'm not exhausted. You're, you're a little bit winded, but you're good. Yeah, I'm good, I'm fine. Um, presumably they're not uh, keeping quiet, like, uh, so I know where they are. Nope. Uh, and everything. Yep. So I am just, uh, Frankie is going to, uh, head immediately towards they are. Uh, can I, like, is the thing within reach? Do I need to roll to spot it? Is it, is it there? You can just see this thing on the floor. Okay, I think I will take that, thank you. <laughs> take what, an empty bottle? Is it all gone? Yes. Okay, no, it's, 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 no, it's no, no, she still does that. It's like, uh, and Twizz, like, she just... She just, like, looks at it, turns it upside down. There's, there's maybe, like, one or two drops left. Oh, okay, that, then but... I do not turn it upside down. <laughs> it's just like, no, 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 a moment of you turning upside down and that single beaded droplet comes yeah, down. Yeah, it's just like, no, no. <laughs> no, no, I don't get, no, sorry, I don't get any of it. You know, 
look at any of it. She's like, she is just going to just stare at it. <laughs> just going to look. On the other hand, this is like very nice wood. It's very nicely waxed. It's not soaking into the floor or vanishing anywhere. <laughs> it's still just on the floor. Yes, but I can't I mean, touch it. There's a whole bunch like spilled, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, but here's the thing: touching it would seems like it would be a you know a bad idea, Your considering that like it. It, didn't it have like some kind of passive effect? I forget. Like, didn't don't one of us touch it and get like uh, passively hurt? Yeah, one of you did get hit from it. You didn't get passively hurt, but like it felt like it was burning into you. You did not take any like acid damage or anything. It just felt wrong and bad. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's still wrong and bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just, what did you? Do she did it. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, Miss Phone just kind of like tilts her head to the side. Like, it's not wrong. <laughs> it's just like this. This is. Oh, you have set uh, possibly an entire field back by how many many years? What is wrong with you? You know what? Don't answer that. I was gonna say. Lucky kind of just shrugs. <laughs> Opens his mouth, closes his mouth, just shrugs. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Well, what would be ext- oh, God, what would be extremely funny is that because again, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't. I'm not really sure um, uh, whether this stuff is like you know poisonous, bad to touch, or fine to touch. It would be very funny to me if uh, Frankie just sort of marched across the room very carefully not stepping in uh, any of this stuff and just sort of like grabbed Lucky by the back of the head and just tried to smash his face into it to see if it burns his face off oh my god we are doing a strength That's contest and I was going to say before we roll uh, uh, let's do a strength contest as this happens I will describe what happens and then we are going on our uh, mid-session break <laughs> the weaklings are fighting yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a Lock- 90. Lucky did just get a nat 20. Fuck. Oh, okay. No, okay, no, fine. No, no, no. Come on. Come no, on. Frankie, you got a nat 22. Oh my god! <laughs> nat 20? That is a nat 20 plus 1. That is a 21. <laughs> and, and, and Lucky has a, got a nat 20 minus 1. I'm going to one. stick his this, face in it. This is what's a difficult thing. You two are going to be wrestling for a moment. <laughs> but look. <laughs> But Frankie indeed has the upper hand with strength and from a height advantage and manages to get Lucky onto his knee and then leaning down and then just as his face is a millimetre away from being dipped into the ink, we're going to cut away to the other group and see how they're doing. Oh! things into a pit. But we're actually going to cut away to the break. So everyone yep. go get drinks, You're grab any snacks. Uh, we'll, well, be guys, yeah, guys, we'll be back in like... Yeah, we'll be back in five, ten minutes. Love you guys. <laughs> oh, God. Ow, my legs. Yep. Oh, God. I'll be back. <laughs> like, okay, now go. now that we're at like the place where the recording is paused, I'm, I really appreciate you guys having patience with me a couple days ago because this is so good. Dude, no, it's perfectly all right. We just, like, we definitely sometimes just need to be like, Bruh. oh, okay, I'm not having fun and let me step away and then come back when I can have fun. And that is the most sensible like thing to do. Like I said before, I'd rather play a fun game with you and you feel good and happy than, like, finish the game at any given time. Mm-hmm. Mm. Much more important. That's that's way more important to me. Oh my god! The number like, of the good. number of times that uh, this session, everybody has been completely fucked up by their roles is so Great. funny. <laughs> like, so many, oh so many times. <laughs> okay, I do genuinely have to uh, go for a sec, so I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. I need to go get water because I don't think I should have yelled that loud. <laughs> I don't even care about if the results causes this place to explode and everybody just dies. No. It's just just the fact that whenever somebody gets a nat 20 and then somebody matches it, fucking gets me every time. It's so unlikely. Go have water, go have water. I also need to have water, so uh, back in a sec. The amount of iconic moments 
moments spelled with like a Z. That has happened. Incredible. Also, like, yeah, I know I just said that, uh, like, to the players, but I also appreciate you guys, the audience, being cool. Um, I, as it turns out, I was just kind of having an emotionally weird day, so uh, I, I appreciate you guys not going, no, you have to come back! Uh, I, I, I did need the reset really bad. <laughs> So is everyone having a good time? <laughs> everyone having fun? Yes. <sighs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> I've got water. I've got snack roll. I'm going to have my bigger snack roll now. And then I'll be ready to jump back in. Excellent. Wonderful. Also, that fucking photo, Didi. <laughs> the fish is the manlet. Excuse me, what? I... Listen, I am literally going to draw that as soon as we're done at this computer, uh, as soon as we're done recording this, because my recording computer is different from my drawing computer, okay. and I need to, like, trace off of that image. I can't just, like, look at it. It's, no. it's excellent. So good. It's excellent. <laughs> This oh so god, good. this is wild. This is great. I now get to do even more body horror. I wasn't expecting to get to do even more weird horror shit. <laughs> oh, I love again, making <laughs> characters make horrible decisions. I knew this, this was is... a terrible idea and that it was going to do something dreadful. <laughs> but like, Having a good time. Frankie makes stupid decisions all the time and uh, is also very angry. So. This is like doing the visual equivalent of like, like having a bunch of mouse traps around and you just throwing fucking pencils at it because it's mean, fun yeah. to see them fly but it will absolutely just land God. on you and will bite you in the ass. Question, have, have you seen that that old that really old film Mouse Hunt? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. it's God. Mouse Hunt. And it's God. The, and there's like there is a scene where there's like a billion mouse traps across the floor, and I don't know. He has to go walk across and like get something. I think I forget, and then they all just go. Oh, that's the worst thing I've ever oh. seen in my life. Thank Felix you, everyone. Felix Colgrave Garfield. No, I did not oh. need to see that. Oh, that's Thank deeply you. unpleasant. I'm not. I, I am. I do not see it. I, I am looking that. away. I hate that. I am looking away. <laughs> Oh boy, snail, snail! Can I like remove an inspiration point from you? No, no, no! no I, I can't can't God damn it! I suppose you've already used them both anyway. <laughs> and and also like, to be fair, I really did have a rough session. No, last you did. Time. You Let still me have some more. No, no, I'm, I'm, like, oh, I'm kidding. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my god! Oh boy! Back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. Okay. Is That's everyone back? Continue. Is everyone ready to continue? I need uh, just oh. one more second just to like actually drink some water. Oh yeah, just because my mouth is extremely dry. Hydrate before you dehydrate. Hydrate corn. before I dehydrate. Oh shit! I've completely forgot to do an announcement about Films Day. I don't know if I'm gonna want to do Films Day. I reckon I after know. this, it's we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, I've had a water. All right, everyone's good to go. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, so um, we've got the pit gang plus the doctors uh, about to add more people to the pit gang. <laughs> pit gang, pit gang. And we're no longer technically in the pit gang. No, like, look, pit gang is in the heart. <laughs> pit gang is a state gang. of mind. Listen, pit gang is pit gang eternal. It's only temporary that you are not the pit gang. Exactly. <laughs> Understand the spirit of pit gang and strive to keep it in your heart all the year. <laughs> <laughs> okay so um please please lay this out to me uh how exactly you're going about things i want to know okay uh mock do you want to take head or do you want me to just like say the things and then have biff do the poke 
I mean, in my head, I'm imagining Biff kind of crouching down near the edge of the hole and going, and then as soon as they get close, whacking them like a, like he's trying to hit a ball off a tee. I thought you were. I thought you were going to say that you're like crouching in the shadows with your caveman outfit, and then as soon as we brought them to the edge, you were just going to poke poke them in. But that's also very good with, with a fucking spear, like. <laughs> but the back end of the spear. This is very important. We're not trying to hurt. Yeah, like you well, all gonna. She, her thing doesn't have a pointy end. It's a basically like, a big hammer. You are gonna be dealing like a little bit of bludgeoning damage. Uh, but like if you're specifically yeah, going for non-lethal, trying to be gentle, I will just allow you to knock these two things. I mean, I don't pit. know if trying to be gentle is the word, but she's not trying to kill it. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Question. Question. Can we make up a separate gag for each one of the three that were in the other room? Because we <laughs> only have to make up one more gag. Well, I think it's two, because one of them's still in a jar. Yeah. Unless they want to take it out of the jar, like if they're letting the, they're letting was... the spider go Yeah, outside, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Kind of usher it into the... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Tidbit just kind of like, okay, go, 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 go. Like waving the paper in the jar to quickly try and get it off. It's not going to look at his leopard and spider. <laughs> Boffin, so it doesn't like injure him. It's just like, yeah, like Boffin. (laughs) Boffin did get scratched by them before, and he did like take damage. But you know, he's he's human, so uh, it didn't do anything other than you know normal uh, slashing damage. Normal hurt. Um, The regular amount of pain. (laughs) Thing is, Boffin is one of those people that is absolutely tidbit scared of spiders. Boffin is one of those people that's just like, oh no, no, now come on, my dear, now come in into into the bit. Come on, come on, into the bit. Come on, say that. There you go. <laughs> sort of thing. And now there are four of them just boogieing down. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I am going to roll hammer space because I am too full of gags to contain. With disadvantage. And uh, Yes, with disadvantage. Thank you for always calling me out because I keep forgetting. I, I still get it. Uh, Tsugi does pull out a boom box and then like <laughs> press the play button. And it's like the caterpillar rave. <laughs> oh my god! So like, so like it's literally the fact that the the boombox is making the noises that's having them move around in the same thing, but it looks like they're dancing. <laughs> it's just the most morbid fucking thing if you think about it for more than two seconds. I love there it. Is a dead man on the other side of this pit. <laughs> yeah, oh, Suki's still watching him. him. Yeah, but he sucks. So he's still watching him. Let me See, be clear. Now, so now, if I wanted to be he really still has ominous, a through him, right? if if I wanted to be really ominous, I should have said that the body disappeared when you guys went into the other room for a bit. Mm, but I'm not going no. to because this guy's fucking dead. <laughs> or at least gonna put him in the acid pit. Yeah, actually, it's genuinely, just like, happening. Uh, like uh, a completely uh, out of character question, but like, how's Buffett doing with the fact that like uh, you know the person who just like deeply upset him is now like got murdered or is he actively not dealing with that he's having much more fun having a look at all these little creatures in the pit and by a lot more fun i'm saying he's still deeply disturbed by these uh creatures and their implications and everything that's going on with them uh but are the gags helping are the funny (laughs) gags helping i think sugi and biff are doing i think there's just one thing where it's just like you know i must say i am eternally grateful that uh i live and work for tunes <laughs> because this this certainly is something <laughs> hey that's the way to think about it human guy just don't think about it that's what i do every day <laughs> This is gonna come over and do the thing where she like pats him really hard. <laughs> yeah. Please don't accidentally don't knock him into the pit. Please yeah, don't. don't. Knock him in. Oh, no, yeah, I should, I can put him in the pit. If he was but, a tune, uh, he would have knocked him into the pit. Yeah. <laughs> yes, if he was a tune, probably would have fallen into the pit. But yeah, like mm. I'm gonna say, there definitely is a moment of just like Doctor Buffon looking into the pit and Tidbit standing by his side, just hand on his shoulder, and then both just kind of who oh boy sort of looks. <laughs> Um, which is which is horribly ruined by the fact that Sugi is still pumping the two. <laughs> yep. Okay. Is there anything? I'm in my mind. 
Was there anything else that you guys wanted to do down here uh, while you are still down here? Uh, I, okay. This is something I was wondering that I don't think Biff specifically would think of, but are there any other, like, levers or buttons or anything down here? Yep, there? there are quite a few. You can see a couple of the, like, there are some connected, to, uh, like, situated right next to another one of those speaking tube things uh, that obviously the, the Elias was speaking into when they're projecting mm -hmm. his voice out, out around the rest of the um, museum. There are some levers that look like they connect upwards. There are levers that are on the back of the wall that seem to be near the forge. Uh, there's a lot of them, and what many is of them do the largest, most obvious lever that oh, is colored no. red? Oh god! It is not painted red, but it is nice, and it is big, and it is very obvious. And I'm going to say it is situated um, smack bang in the middle of a work desk with a little clear space around it. Oh, excellent! Just going to pull it. Cool. We can we can cut back to the others if you want. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think as she as she starts to do this. <laughs> yep. Okay. I don't think anyone's gonna stop her. So uh, Biff pulls the lever, and as it goes, clunk, we swap back to the others. Okay. Body horror time. What what horrible things have you got planned? Okay. So yeah. Major warning for any um, body horror and possession type. Uh, oh no. Co like content warning for all that kind of stuff because shit's gonna get real here. Um, oh. So now mechanically. The, the thing that I could be doing here is making Lockie do a whole bunch of wisdom saving throws. Oh, However, because no. I don't think he's going to actively manage to succeed on 30 plus wisdom saving throws, uh, I'm not going to bother rolling it. Uh, I think statistically he's going to lose at least one and likely quite a few because once he's lost one, he kind of doesn't have any say in losing the rest. <laughs> Speak so what happens as his face makes contact with this ink is you kind of see this it's not a ripple because while fluids ripple thank you mock he's definitely lost quite a few there <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah he's got a plus two but like i don't think it really helps because no that one no yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's... Mark, Mark just rolled thirty d twenties at once for everybody who's listening in the future. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, let me do my dramatic body yes. horror bullshit. All right, okay, now I'm gonna shut up. I love this. I love this. Okay, so what you see isn't a ripple because liquids ripple, and you'd think this was meant to be a ripple because ink is a liquid, right? Mm. But no, what you see the moment Lockie's body makes contact with the ink is you see the ink shiver and then you can watch it is this fucking slow-mo as this ink rises up and absorbs itself into Lockie's skin because what this ink is it is spirit it is the pure driving force of movement and life behind tunes and it has been split from all the body that it had, and it has been split from the, the souls of the tunes that used to live in this ink. But it has now found a new body, little as it is, and it has found a new soul, as absent as Lockie's may be, and it's going to take full advantage of that. And it gets absorbed instantly into Lockie, and Lockie's skin goes that same deep purple green, and Lockie goes still. No more fighting against Frankie holding him down. No more struggling to break free. No more very, very short and then very, very cut off scream that he made the moment his skin touched this ink. And then his form just turns into nothing. And then that nothing stands up. And then Yo, did screams. we just kill Lockie? And can I get um, some wisdom saving throws from both Ms. Foam and Frankie? I think this might be a mistake. I'm sorry, it does what? It stands up and does what? <laughs> it screams. <sighs> okay. Might have been a mistake. Mm. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Kai. That's okay, that's okay. Hey, hey, you, you know, it, wisdom, you know that thing that, like, uh -huh. Frankie is mechanically really bad at? 
Mm-hmm, that one. Oh, that's a 13. Mm. I mean, mechanically being bad with wisdom makes sense because Frankie did dip a man's face into some really evil ink. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was a very stupid idea. It was. Oh, okay. Now, the thing is, you are going to be taking psychic damage from this, both of you. I'm also just trying to figure out how much would be an appropriate amount, considering what you have just done. Quite a lot. Uh, without killing both of you. I mean, mm-hmm. like... Because you both have fuck all health. Yeah. Because <laughs> I've already killed you once today. Yeah. I mean, you could just take them all, just take them down to zero, no matter where they're at. Yeah. It could just like. Unless this thing is going to come after them. I don't know. Yeah. Mm-mm. I mean, yeah, Locke might is... get immediately murdered. Yeah, because the thing is, Frankie, I need to know when Locke. When this ink. Uh, slurped itself into <laughs> um, Locke, and Locke went still. Did you continue holding on to him? Oh no, she let go the second that that happened because okay. like, uh, she very much was like, oh, okay, suddenly here at like, she thought that like the worst that was going to happen was like, I don't know, maybe it would like melt his face a bit mm-hmm. and like, you know, it would be that's bad, fine. but okay. like that's recoverable. She didn't think this was going to happen. So she immediately has let him go and is genuinely just like backing the fuck off. Okay. How many hit points do you have? Seven? Seven! Uh, Ms. Phone, how many do you have? I have 20, including uh, 13 for the wild shape and 7 for Ms. Foam. Okay, so you've still actually got a decent chunk and you succeeded in your con save, I think, in that case. If you just wanted to knock Frankie the uh-huh. fuck out, that would be valid. <laughs> um, Frankie, please take 11 psychic damage. Hey. Uh, Ms. Foam, please take 6 psychic damage as this thing screams in the voices of dozens of people and also in the Voices of things that you're fairly sure certainly aren't people anymore, and there is the teensiest hint of Loki still there, but not anymore. Congratulations, you've created an abomination, and even more than, even more so than the things below, because those were specifically single drops on a small amount of very specific liquid to provide the body of things. However, now you've not only provided a fair chunk of body, but also soul. Um, well done. This, hey, this, this you did is, it! Yeah. Yeah. This is something that, because I think what happens is after it screams and then after it pants a little bit, catching its breath, something approaching a face in there looks up and looks directly at where Frankie is now lying on the floor. Oh no! And then. <laughs> In a voice that is no longer Lockie's. Nice try, kid. Not quite good enough. Oh no! And there is a tong as a lever down below is pulled. And the magic that was keeping this whole place on lockdown goes out. And Lockie picks up that brick that had fallen aside before. <laughs> looks over at Miss Foam. Thanks. You know, you're not half bad, unlike the rest of them. Be seeing you. Tosses the brick through the window, and the window shatters, and this thing disappears into the night. We fucked that up! <laughs> yeah. I did, you guys. This is good. We're doing a good ass job out here. God damn it. I just cool. would like to stay. So- I did not plan any of this. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. Seem, I just realized the fact that I had Biv do that, like in that moment. I was just like, "Oh, this will probably be fun." Um. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. So, uh, can, can um, does does Frankie maybe want to start making some death saving throws? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I want. Oh God, I. They're just flat D20s, right? You can do, uh, if you do um, a medicine check, you can uh, stabilize her. Um, she'll still be at zero hit points, oh, but she sure. won't be about to die. Yeah, I would like to stabilize her, but can you allow me this one little detail? Yeah. That, uh, the damage wasn't enough to take out her wild shape. Can she try and stabilize Frankie as soon as a panther? Yes, absolutely. Cool, Please just you. like a lick at uh, <laughs> Frankie's <laughs> face. Miss Fum sits on Frankie's chest and purrs. Yeah. <laughs> yep. it, it, 
it's, it's just it's simply a cat uh, trying to get up another cat question mark. Oh, yes. that's, the, okay, that's 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 much a, cuter than she deserves. One, but... Did you kill her? Um, that counts as a failed saving throw. Oh Christ! Yes. So that's one failed save, and I'm gonna want one from Frankie. You are gonna need to roll a d twenty here as well. Okay, I really, really don't want this character to die. Yeah. Hey, does anyone else have uh, inspiration points left? Oh, I... God. Do not... Uh... Let me check my Frankie. It's a no for me, pal. That's a 19, Jesus Okay, okay, Christ. so that's one safe. So one loss, one safe. This could still go either way. I'm not going to work on a specific time frame here, just what seems narratively appropriate when yeah, I ask yeah, you to make yeah. the next roll. Um, cool, I have one. Do you want to give giving that to Liz? Am I allowed to? Yeah, if you want. To make the... Successful medicine check. Yeah, successful medicine check. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I guess I like I guess I like Frankie enough to do that. Enough to spend an inspiration point to make sure she stabilizes. Not like I drew a whole meme with her. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, listen. If she died right now, she would be getting out of this too easy. She needs to face the consequences of her actions. Yes, Uh she also does need that. Yes. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Thank. Um. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Can I flavor this though to sort of channel the energy that Jay just said? Absolutely. First, uh, I medicine will... check was her trying to pour at Frankie's face, which did not work. Real. Oh shit! I have claws. Fuck. Oh yeah. fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, but second uh, uh, medicine check is Miss Foam turning around and getting her tail and just fucking whapping it across Frankie's face. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. You are not getting out of this, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, I will tell you right now, Frankie is not going to get any hit points back. No. Uh, but you have stabilized her, so she's at least back to breathing evenly, and her heart is no longer uh, in arrhythmia. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not... Uh, <laughs> well, you say that, like, <laughs> like tune-wise. Uh, flavor-wise, like, um, when that was... Hap- when uh, it looked like, you know, she was go- that automatic save, like, uh, the sort of the colors on her just kind of went, like, not dim exactly, but they kind of went flat. Mm. So, no more holographic yeah, effects, but you know, that that seems to be back now, so she's alright. Okay, so Frankie is stabilised but unconscious. Uh, Ms. Foam, did you want to do anything else considering what you've just seen? Ooh, baby! <laughs> what? Ooh. What? I don't know! Ah... <laughs> uh. Frankie's fine. <laughs> that sure is an exit. <laughs> I feel like we should tell the other people that are still alive in this place what happened. Probably, yeah. Uh, so she might start running down the staircase to the others if they're still there. Uh, that would be a very fun scene of a very panicked <laughs> pamphlet yeah. just running down. Yeah, I'll say that you can you can meet up with the other guys again. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a go getting down there, but you're still in panther form, so you can this zoom like down the stairs. The most emotional we have seen this film be. Yeah. <laughs> it's like ah, uh, that's not that's real bad. That's well, that ain't right. I mean, to be fair, that is real bad. Yes. We, we, we bad. fucked that mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. We fucked that up. You say we. we're gonna be dealing with it for the rest of the Frankie campaign. <laughs> yep. Yep. I I was not planning on giving you guys like a, an ongoing uh, super evil villain boss here. Uh, certainly not in chapter hey. one. That wasn't meant and to happen no for one me. I'd rather it be. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I wasn't planning this, but this is perfect. I love it. Um, yeah. So everyone, um, there's a panic panther that has just arrived back down as you guys have uh, finished poking everything into the pit. <laughs> uh, there's a rave going on down here. Yeah. Excellent. The panther is going to tidbit. Uh, it was a toss up between tidbit or uh, Sugi, uh, but she's seen some stuff. It's like, ah, oh, Sugi probably doesn't have it, and the. the 
she's kind of doing a yelp kind of sound uh and it's just yelling at tidbit yeah oh hey hey easy look look hey mm -hmm. nice kitty good kitty <laughs> she's just constantly making sound and it's just like nudging that tidbit uh, oh, just circling him yeah okay, okay yeah, yes um uh, help please i want oh bless he's alleged hey she's not she's not biting you if she was biting you you'd know <laughs> okay that is true and fair but this is still a rather uncomfortable situation i think like uh boffin comes in and is like uh um miss Fum, miss Fum, uh, uh, uh what is this what seems to be the problem oh we are not doing this she's 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 just like like a very rash like harsh like shake of the head as soon as he says like what is it like no tidbit she is focused on tidbit oh wait because he has specific <laughs> yes i'm confused but okay <laughs> okay he's a frank and ali <laughs> he's got he has <laughs> okay i see so he's like okay no timmy like... in the well situation here <laughs> uh, it's just like okay it's like um oh, uh, like buff and pixel it's like, it's like, it's like uh, well, it seems like what is it what is this that you can do that uh... Ah, um, Doctor, I, I think that she may want to, uh, like, just tell me what she wants, just tell me what she wants. Uh, you know such spells that you can do that you're always complaining since you can never do anything free? <laughs> oh. Amazing. <laughs> and he is going to smile. You can't speak with animals. Yes. Excellent. So you hear, you, you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, what's wrong? What happened? Where, where's, where's Frankie? She is down, she is stabilized. Go get her quickly if you have any more healing potions or whatever. Uh, she put the she put the little one in the in the ink and it it, it it went into him and he's turned into a monster and he's escaped. Oh well that's a lot to process. Okay, well, well um does anyone have any more healing potions, spells, uh, anything that's gonna be good? Uh Frankie seems to be in a bit of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, I think we may be down down here now. I think we should probably get up because um, there's something of a mess that's happened. I will explain on the way. <laughs> um, and he is gonna start sprinting for the stairs. <laughs> oh boy, Frankie made another mess. How surprising. Sugi says, completely oblivious of what the fuck has gone on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Tidbit will indeed relay everything that Ms. Foam just said everything? onto- Everything? that Ms. Foam just said onto, uh, to everyone else. Cause he doesn't really clock that maybe not telling Biff about Lockie would be good, but- That's fine. Yeah. Uh, can I get con mm. saves from everyone please though? Yes. You don't well, have- Always. Yeah, you, you don't have disadvantage on any of them. Don't worry. Uh, I think I just got this one. That was just a flat D20. Alright, luck. Take the wheel. <laughs> Luck, take the wheel. It's a seven. That's, that's gone so good for us so far. Uh, oh, hey, Sugi. Ow. Okay. Words. Okay, so yeah, Sugi, you are now on two levels of exhaustion. Um, hey, fuck. Hey. Fuck. <laughs> Ms. Foam, you will also pick up a level of exhaustion, as does um, Dr. Boffin. Uh, however, I... um, Dr. Weird is somehow fine considering how he did the worst with the stairs on the first go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, on, in the very, uh, in the second session. Um, and Biff, you're alright, you're still, you are feeling pretty winded by the time you're at the top, but you don't pick mm. up another. Okay, everyone's at the top. Uh, there's Frankie, lying unconscious. Hello. Why are you talking? You're unconscious. <laughs> I'm talking. That's a soul. That's I'm a, that's talking, that's me. You know this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's it? What's it look like up there? I just I want to imagine like okay, okay, Biff comes up out of the stairwell and sees what it looks like. Like I'm, I imagine there's broken glass from the window yeah, for sure. Well, the the broken glass is all mostly on the outside because he did th like there is like some just inside the window, uh, okay. and it's a rather large window, so it's a pretty obvious. There's hole. probably a um, there's probably like kind of a draft have, yeah, breeze. You, You've, yeah, you've got a bit of a breeze. You've got Frankie laying on the floor. There are actually still the very occasional spot of the ink uh, still on the floor. Basically bits and pieces that weren't connected up to the main glop that yeah. um, Lockie got pushed into. And like, so there's maybe 
uh, four or five of those scattered about, and um, I know that Tidbit's definitely going to say, don't, don't touch those, don't touch those. Um, and Frankie's just lying there? And Frankie's just lying there. Kind of in the middle of it all? Kind of, yeah. Biff takes this in. And... Man, she's got a range of things she's thinking about. But I think she will, I mean, I would say silently, like she's not talking, but nothing about her is silent. Mm. Um, she's quite large. <laughs> but she's going to kind of stomp across the floor. She will avoid uh, if there's any droplets or whatever in her path. And she will take Frankie's shoulders, lean her up against a wall, uh, and kind of like very gruffly almost push her up against the wall. She's going to use her last uh, five hit points of lay on hands. Oof. And then she's going to walk away. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, Frankie, you wake up. Yeah, Frankie, come, uh, Frankie comes too. Uh, and is is this kind of like takes a second? You have five hit points. Five hit points. That's fine. I've been on seven for most of it. And hey. kind of looks around and is just just like, oh, oh dear. And then she 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 doesn't really say anything. She's just sort of like she's gonna st- she's just gonna sort of stay against the wall because. Yeah, well, how do you react to that? <laughs> how do you react to uh, your uh, temper blowing up in your face quite so spectacularly? <laughs> Biff has probably gone to the window and is, like, looking out. Boogie is fighting with himself because, again, they've only known each other for an evening. There's a part of him that's screaming to say, wow, Frankie, wow, and just lay <laughs> into her. Even as he's grown fond of these people in spite of himself and oh. in a way that he will later say, oh, but not that fond. Just like just like for an evening dinner party that turned evil. He got um, attached. <laughs> he, 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 will, he will not admit that for much time, and we will discuss that later. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> But but yes, he did get attached. He still is like, oh, even I know not to fuck it up that bad. But as it turns out, there is something more powerful than his need to gloat. And astonishingly, it's just walking over to where Biff is looking. And he's going to make a perception check to try and see if he can see anything of where the creature went. He's he's not gonna go after it right now, but no. like, yeah. Give did me... the creature go towards the nearest town? Did the creature just go into the woods and maybe we'll become like Bigfoot? Give me <laughs> give me perception and remember that you're at disadvantage. Aye aye, Captain. He's probably not gonna get anything. But the the important part is that he is looking and also, he's specifically standing next to Biff if they, you know, need to do anything. Like, either talk about it or punch somebody who's in a circle. That's a wow. five, seven, oh, and a five. Fun. Yeah, you have no I was going to say, clue. should I just have Biff do a couple of rolls there? Yeah, if you, want, me, if you but... want Biff to do rolls, then go ahead. Uh, but yeah, there's... I mean, she's looking. She's not, like, super looking. Yeah, not with a, a three. three. Yeah. So <laughs> with that, both of you are going to get the same thing. It's it's still pretty dark out there, and you can maybe see like there. You, mostly, what you see is a bit of glass on the outside, and maybe some weird places where the grass outside doesn't seem to be quite as green as everything else. But you can only see that for like two, three feet before it's just too dark for you to see much. The one thing that I will give you though is on the horizon the sky is starting to get those faint tinges of pink purple as it is almost dawn 
Meanwhile, uh, Dr. Boffin is going to be coming and giving Frankie a check over, and he is like, yes, okay, he's been pretty serious throughout uh, a lot of the later happenings of everything here, but he's he's just silent as he quickly comes over and like checks your temperature, uh, like, <laughs> orders, like, like pulls a thumb down one of your eyelids to double check, basically going over and giving you a thorough checkup and like, uh, you, you, none of it touched you, right? Nope, not at all. Okay, good, good, good. Um, and yeah, with a with a twenty four, he gives you a clean bill of health, and you get one more hit point. I will Hooray! say, because... I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm, nice. I'm free from a free from abomination. Yeah. Um, what Frankie is going to, she's just going to sort of like wait uh, while uh, this is going on. Um, but when it's finished, uh, she is going to just sort of like, sort of like. Psst. Put, you know that thing where people like put their hands on their knees and just sort of like straighten themselves up and they're just like, uh, it's like, right, well, uh, there's something that can be done to fix this, I know, even if we don't know what it is yet. Um, you're the one with the most uh, expertise in this uh, area, I suppose. Um, what should we do about what's left, first of all? Um, is there any way that we can safely... Uh, transport it, store it, anything like that. Mm. Uh, I, I, I suppose that we will we need to be do, uh, doing some tests on it, but... Uh. Dr. Veard? And uh, Tidbit is going to have doing a little bit of a check on all this, because he, again, while there's everything going on, he's he's not good with the emotional side of things. You know what he good, is good at? Weird magic-y bullshit. Hey! Uh, and... That was a 13, so that's I'm going to say that it's good enough that um, he kind of, he pulls out uh, a bit of glass and, because you know those like glass stirring rods that you yes. have when you need to specifically not contaminate anything? <laughs> uh, he's pull, he pulls um, one of those out of his pocket and it is carefully a, uh, it is a real kind glass rod because it's not tuned because, uh, yeah, he doesn't want to risk everything that happened with um that go again and gives it a bit of a poke and like one of the droplets it does stick to the end of the glass but there doesn't seem to be any reaction um does he have a real kind vacuum cleaner in there at all that way (laughs) no (laughs) i'm gonna say no made of souls uh so yeah and then like um, like bug grabbers vacuums maybe (laughs) Often comes over and you can kind of just hear them like whisper, like leaning, uh, he- leaning heads together, whispering between themselves for a little bit, and then uh, they can just pull out another glass vial. And they're like, "Well, the good news is it likely isn't going to be uh, able to contaminate anyone else if as long as you do not go touching it. I yes, do I... not recommend we put anything in this that would consist of body." <laughs> No, uh, I think uh, consider that lesson well learned. And her face, like what um, she's always like, kind of like very chipper and cheerful in a slightly kind of uh, pretend professional way. But at this point, it's getting a little like frozen, almost it's sort of a, a bit plasticky. <laughs> um, but no, she is um, like. Well, I don't think that uh, it would be a very good idea for me to get anywhere near that. But um oh oh what about our what about our friends downstairs? Uh oh, oh they they're, they're all safely contained uh for now I think oh we're going to have a time transporting them anywhere oh, else. Okay. Oh no 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 that's that's, that's okay it was okay it's okay we, we, I suppose as I seem to be the last surviving rook um welcome to my mansion. <laughs> Oh no! Amazing. <laughs> As right. this this is going to cause so much legal hassle. <laughs> Damn, bitch! You live like this? <laughs> Certainly not. I am both not living here. If I have anything to say with it, uh, but yeah, I I think we we have them contained for now. We should be able to transport them elsewhere. They 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 they're still tunes, I, I guess, but they. There's something missing, and there's there's a lot missing, I suppose. Well, uh, Frankie, though, you're you're a necromancer. Yes, yes. I, so I, we can find a way to put it back. We we can fix this. There, there, it might it might take some time, but oh oh, uh, was there any kind of guest list? And she's going to um, just be like, um, 
I, you, I think the person that would know here is actually going to be uh, Ms. Foam because you got to see like the Please, inner um... workings of all. So <laughs> you, uh, you did see something. I... Yeah, yeah. If I may, they probably did give Biff a list mm-hmm. to see the names on the invitations. Good you point. Guys, oh, you boy. guys remember way yeah. back in the first thing, she was she was checking off from a list. Yeah. Now, at the she front wasn't door. doing a very thorough or good no, job, but and like, like, she to had fair, a list. And to be fair, a lot of these invites didn't uh, have like names and such on them, or they'd been passed down from person to person, which is why like Frankie yeah, and yeah, his yeah. phone got their hands on them. Yep. But, it's but still, it would you still, still uh... had a list. So, what did you do with that? Um, I think Biff just kind of goes, uh, you mean like this? And I'm going to roll a d10. Pulls yeah. it out. Uh, uh, hands it over. Uh, this probably, is... ha- probably hands it to, uh, who's, were they all talking together? Who was talking? Just the three of them together, yeah, right? It was, yeah, the probably three of them Probably hands it to, to, uh, one of the scientists. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, that doesn't go yeah, un- yep. unnoticed. Yeah, I think Tidbit <laughs> takes it okay. um, and just kind of like, uh, yeah, this, this, this would be perfect. I, if for nothing else than contacting the families. Yes, that was my, uh, that was my thought. Though maybe we don't need to do that uh, right away, uh, considering that uh, calling somebody up and saying, "Hey, I'm sorry, there's been a terrible accident, or your friend slash relative has been." Uh, turned into a uh, inky abomination. That wouldn't be great. So until we've got some sort of uh, story straight, then maybe uh, what I was thinking was uh, finding out uh, who uh, exactly was still here, uh, trying to find uh, possibly their names, identifying who we have uh, down in the pit exactly, and then we, if we if we have their name, think, things respond much better to when you talk call them by their names. You see, so um, and she is just gonna continue like that yeah Mm. i think yeah so frankie and the doctors are probably going to start putting together something of a plan of where to go next uh but there will be one thing where boffin does kind of turn away to look at ms foam and biff and sugi and it is going to be a a bit of an issue trying to get the the the, the creatures to somewhere safer hopefully it's the lab that uh, uh dr veard and i work in but uh, i don't suppose you, you three would be willing to help clean up all this mess mm. well I mean, if nobody else is gonna volunteer, I'm not the one who made the mess. Sugi very clearly looks at Frankie like, Amazing. like I, I, I want to be clear. Even as Sugi chose trying to support Biff over rubbing it in for Frankie, no, one hundred percent valid. <laughs> Frankie, expect for this to be rubbed in at least twice before he ever thinks of putting it down. Um, <laughs> No, current, like, currently, uh, cur- currently, she just uh, she doesn't even look like she's, um, you know, that you know that 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 special expression that Sugi has come to recognize of like her deciding whether or not to start a fight with you or bite her tongue. She doesn't even mm-hmm. get that. It's just like, yeah, you know what? Fair. <laughs> Sugi shrugs and says, "It's not like I've got another job lined up on the docket." I think I think Biff uh, kind of like eventually like she kind of sighs and she goes yeah I used to clean up duty she's gonna reach into her hammer space uh, and pull out a shovel <laughs> no 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 my dear no, my put dear that back, no, no put that back put that back not not that kind put that back put it back <laughs> she does Miss uh, Hitley as uh, no no this is um this is not what I meant uh, I. Well, really, I'm likely going to be needing somebody to help organize this whole place. I've, I will also need a bit of help getting uh, the right tools that I need for whatever experiments and getting these people back to normal. And maybe if we can find a way to help them, we could find a way to help your friend if you still wanted to help him. Uh, 
Yeah. Suki sort of just nudges Biff, like, Hey, listen, it won't, it won't take that long, I'm sure. It's just an entire world's worth of world to explore, and I'm sure he's gonna come back. He's probably pretty pissed at Frankie. The moment he realizes that Frankie's still here, he's gonna come <laughs> right on back. <laughs> Frankie's gonna go like slightly pale. It's like, oh yeah, that's probably an idea. Um, but she is. Uh, but the the only thing she's gonna say, she is gonna look uh, uh, at Biff, and she is gonna say, "We are going to get him back if that's what you want." Uh, yeah, I mean, the boss is probably gonna want him back, so. Well, this is more about what you want, dear. I mean, I want whatever is best for the boss. I th all right, I, th I think we may have to work on that at some point. All right, <coughs> that's all right then, yes. And she goes back to uh, what they were doing. All right, Marcy, what about you? You in or you out? Oh. Uh... She, yeah, she kind of did just, like, ignore Boffin's request slightly. <laughs> uh, she she was just, like, looking at the, um, the sort of, like, the, the window and the door and just, like, you can see her tail just going back and forth, just, like, flicking. But her, her, her ear does prick up as soon as she's addressed directly and just turns around. Um, I don't know what's... She she she's not walking away. She's looking at the group. She has turned towards the group. Um. I uh, I don't know how to translate her thoughts into uh, a panther body language. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Cats are pretty inscrutable. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Can you do a this? So he nods his head. Or a this, Siggy shakes his head, and yes, he's intentionally being a little condescending, because as it turns out, that's a great way to promote a reaction, even if the reaction is getting his face punched. <laughs> oh, bless yeah. him! Fair. Uh, God, yeah, she, she will nod. Just once. Yes. Imagining a cat, like a big bark panther nod is like, quite upsetting it's yeah. very vicious mm -hmm. mentally it's very difficult to process i, I think like, yeah. tid tidbit's gonna give her like a small nod and an even smaller smile in return and just like thank you miss foam i uh i strongly suspect that this particular group probably needs you around <laughs> holder of the brain cell designated holder of the brain cell holder of the brain cell holder of the healing spells <laughs> i look i established earlier that tid in tidbit's opinion Ms. foam is the only one that deserves any actual respect or responsibility <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I'd tidbit say... said that there was like a flash of just like just a, a brief flash of a concern across the face where it disappears it's fine <laughs> oh god <laughs> Um, I'd say that's rude, you're right. but the thing is, I can't turn into a panther, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I think with all this, uh, this is a good point to just gently fade to black, as you guys stun can turn the handles of the door and open up, and you are free from this museum of horrors that you have been stuck in all night. And now you need to deal with the horrors that you've been left with. But we will get to that in the next chapter of The Odyssey. Thank you for playing. Welcome to the campaign, everybody! It <laughs> <laughs> was one long night. It felt like months. God. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> now you wanted to say something? Uh, yeah. Just, just, you know, just, just a little thing. Um... I'm assuming that Boffin and Tidbit both go out because, you know, horrible place, outside with fresh air. Where would you want to be? Um, and Sugi sort of hangs back and then um, it starts walking down the corridors. 
This time, for once, he actually does get to be successful in sliding down the banisters, even as it's very clear he takes no joy in it. Um, which is unusual for someone so toony, until you follow him back down the corridors to the large, non-acid pit and see what he has come down here to do. Tsugi has taken it upon himself to ensure, let's say, that Elias Rook never, ever becomes a concern again. As he grabs the heels of the still unconscious, still dead but toony, Tsugi doesn't know, Tsugi doesn't care. He grabs his heels and he drags the body behind him as the abominations moan and grumble and when the camera looks up at Tsugi, in spite of the shadow that tries to cover his face, we do see pity in his eyes, not hatred, annoyance, or cartoonish, over-exaggerated, you know, enthusiasm, or even a promise that they'll succeed in bringing them back to what they were. Just pity. Tsugi keeps pulling the body forward, and the body pulls back. Rook is not actively trying to pull back, but themes are important to tunes, and as much as Sugi is trying to fight that, the body is heavier than it should be as it's dragged toward its final destination. We once again see Tsugi huff, and with that we suddenly realize that oftentimes he's unusually still when he's not actively exerting himself, almost like he doesn't breathe. But of course he breathes, I mean, naturally he does, right? We make it our way to the first available pit with acid. Sugi tugs, his feet slick on the ground, slip and slide, and he grunts, and he pulls, and there's a snap, like a guitar string that has been pulled too tight. And if you are able to mentally rewind your mind and watch the movement in slow motion, you see that something inside his jacket snapped against the outside as it was being snapped. And Sugi grunts in pain. You see his arm shoot to the place that snapped? Shattered? It's unknown what exactly happened. Because Sugi, aside from the pain ignores it entirely and kicks Elias Rook's body into the pit, watching the entire time as the acid turns it to nothing. So we're going to have a lot of fun with the next session, aren't we guys? Don't like that. Cool. That's it. Cut to black. Movie that. over. Everyone get out of here. <laughs> Okay. Right, thank you so much, everybody. That was well, great. Thanks for listening. I guess. Thank you sure, for listening. Uh, we will like uh, we do still have a session planned for tomorrow. It's going to be a fun non-canon uh, spooky Halloween session. Uh, nonsense, nonsense. So how is it get like? I, I reckon that like that was pretty Halloweeny already. Yeah, was, oh yes, yeah. I said body horror. I was like, oh, we got the okay. Halloween quota filled in already. Completely oh, accidental. Halloween always has been. I planned <laughs> none of that, <laughs> but that was a delight. Thank you for giving me that. Um, for now, does everyone want to say goodbye for the recording? Bye. Bye, 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 bye my lovely.